American Comics, Makeup Containment. I create a foundation. Chapter 26 Character Card, Ju Ha To Be Figure. It has been half a month since Chen Feng led the team to successfully contain the 939,000 more beast. During this period of time, Chen Feng did not lie down and relax, but instead devoted himself to high intensity training and base construction. The Foundation's Airborne Assault Company has completed training after half a month of training at the MTF Mobile Task Force School. After half a month of training, this team has obtained the official task force designation. According to the air assault characteristics of this task force, they were named Mobile Task Force No. 001 by Chen Feng, and the unit code name was Help Paratroopers. And this Help Paratrooper Mobile Task Force is a brigade-level mobile task force with a scale of nearly 2,000. The remaining more than 10,000 rumors were all used to exchange for foundation support in the system mall. After obtaining the E-level authority, the quality of the products in the system has been improved, but the corresponding prices have also been increased, and some new products have also been added. Among them, Chen Feng spent a full 5,000 rumor points to buy an upgrade card for troop organization. A troop organization upgrade card can upgrade the organization of a troop, so Chen Feng expanded the help paratroopers which were originally only battalion-level organization with a maximum number of 500 people, to 2,000 people, becoming a brigade-level combat configuration. This is because only the Foundation's troop establishment recognized by the system will have monthly free supplementary soldiers and corresponding supplies, ammunition, and loss supplements. If the troops are not in the establishment, I'm sorry, Chen Feng has to find a way to add them. Considering the increasingly serious situation in the future, such as the Avengers Alliance where Loki brings a group of aliens to invade or something. Chen Feng still needs to be fully prepared. That's why he spent so much money to upgrade the paratroopers. After the completion of the training, the Hell Paratrooper unit has been expanded and upgraded, and the 8V44X Blackfish has become 20. At the same time, it also has two AC-160M air gunboats that can provide air cover at any time. Those vehicles have also been expanded to brigade-level configurations accordingly. Chen Feng organized those elites who had fought with him into a special warfare company. This special operations company is equipped with an experimental WL-01 style stalker mecha that Tony found time to help develop and mass-produce. At the same time, Wilhelm has also completed the basic analysis of the T-virus, and is experimenting with T-gene modifiers that can harmlessly strengthen the human body. The T-103 Tyrant is also being tested but no suitable body has been found. Even if D-class personnel are used for experimental adaptation, so far, Chen Feng has only obtained three prototypes of the T-103 Tyrant. Although he felt that the combat power was still not enough, Chen Feng had no choice but to consider starting a new containment mission immediately. Because after Tony Stark completed the production of Mark I and Mark II, the plot of Iron Man 1 has officially started. Now Tony has had a huge conflict of interest with shareholder Obadiah because of the announcement that Stark Industries has withdrawn from the arms market. Although Chen Feng is familiar with the plots, he doesn't need to interfere with these plots to create a butterfly effect. But this also means that Chen Feng has no way to grab Tony's wool for the time being, and let him develop the exoskeleton for the foundation. And if he doesn't contain it anymore, the foundation that has already condensed SHIE, LD and Hydra, as well as the eyes of various forces, will only be coveted by countless forces. If the foundation doesn't show its overwhelming strength, sooner or later, when a strong enemy comes, both Chen Feng and the foundation will be finished. The current conditions for opening the containment mission have changed from 1000 rumor points of F level to 5000 rumor points of E class. The price of the rumor degree has become higher, and it goes without saying that the difficulty will also be greatly increased, but Chen Feng has no choice. He delayed starting the mission until now because there will be a monthly promotion in the system mall. In this event, some rare and good things may be revealed, and discounts and promotions will be carried out to fool the rumors of the host's consumption. Sure enough, just as the time reached zero o'clock, a system prompt came from Chen Feng's mind. Ding, host, the monthly system promotion has started, and today's special product is a random special A-level character card. Question mark. The A-level character card with an original price of 50,000 rumor points is now at a promotional price, and you can buy it with only 5,000 rumor points. Question mark. A-level character card, good thing. Chen Feng thought of the scientific and technological achievements brought by Dr. Wilhelm Birken in just 15 days after the arrival of a villain who died only at the beginning of the Resident Evil game, but it has brought great improvement to the foundation. It can be said that he alone led the research team to develop something that may not be completed by a certain big country in decades. Thinking of the power of the A-level character card, Chen Feng exchanged the A-level character card without any hesitation. Ding, you exchanged a random A-level character card, and got a bionic humanoid from Nier's mechanical era, Ju has Troop 2B. Question mark. Chapter 27 Misgar 2B, 
E-Class Containment Mission Starts Chapter 27 E-Class Containment Mission Starts Yuha Type 2B Bionic Humanoid comes from a world called Near Automata. In that world, humans and aliens hostile to humans have long since been destroyed, leaving only the Bionics created by humans and the mechanical life of aliens to continue fighting on the Blue Star. Yuha 2B is also translated as Yaruha Number 2 Type B, or Nightblade Number 2 Type B. 2B is the number, Yuha is the name of the unit, and B usually refers to the combat type. The members of 2B's automatic infantry doll unit Yaruha have no names and are referred to by code names. This is because the rule prohibits Bionics from having emotions, although it does not prevent 2B from becoming a cool and calm character. Up. As Chen Feng, who played the Near Automata game in his previous life, he knows very well that the combat Bionic dolls of Yuar's army have extremely strong combat effectiveness. This just made up for the serious defect of lacking a qualified protection force around him. After all, he is facing the contained objects and his power is still immortal after all. If there is an extremely powerful bionic humanoid protection, this can provide a great guarantee for his life safety, and it can also serve as a powerful deterrent. Sure enough, as soon as he bought the character card, Chen Feng's office door was knocked by the orderly. Sir, considering your safety is not guaranteed, headquarters has assigned you a bionic guard. She has come here. Do you want to see her? Let her in. The door of the office was pushed open, and upon closer inspection, a glamorous beauty in a black dress, silver hair, blue eyes, Black eye patch and boots walked in slowly. A familiar Yuji voice came, The 2B combat dolls of Yuha's army have been ordered to report to you, Commander. It is consistent with the image in the game, but it seems that because of the reality, Chen Feng felt the great shock. Although she knew she was a bionic person, she looked exactly like a human being, or rather because she was a bionic person. So it looks too perfect, a flawless human female image. Because in reality human beings have not achieved genetic evolution or anything, there will always be various defects but she does not. Just a matter of skin care and hair care, which might worry a normal human woman to death, will never be a problem for a bionic person like her. Even if you just gave birth to a child, you can immediately slash people with a knife or live and kicking. If this is a cyberpunk world, people who have no money to marry a wife will choose to spend money to buy a bionic wife to have children. After all, she has this function. The eye patch she wears is a combat goggle, and her main attack weapon is a large sword and a small sword suspended behind her back, White's Promise and White's Contract. That is the weapon carried by the body suspended on the back, although it is a cold weapon. These two swords can even easily cut the armor of the main battle tank. In addition to melee attacks, there are three auxiliary pod robots floating beside her, which can fire bullets, laser lasers and small tracking missiles to attack enemies from a distance. Chen Feng raised his head and found that although 2B was wearing eyepieces, they couldn't stop her curious gaze. After all, she had never seen so many dot 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 human beings. Yoha type 2B, or Yoroa type 2B. It is said that in your army, it is forbidden to have a name, right? Yes, Commander, so you only need to call me by my code name. Chen Feng smiled slightly, but you belong to my unit now. From now on, you are my direct guard, 2B. If you behave well, I will consider giving you your own name. Hearing Chen Feng's remarks, 2B felt that his emotional module seemed to be inexplicably high. Or the soul of the machine is happy? Really, Commander? I can have my own name? Definitely, but the premise is that you need to prove your worth to the Foundation. Chen Feng drew a big cake casually but who knows that just the promise of a name made this android lady show full energy. I am looking forward to your heroic performance 2B. From now on, I will hand over my security work to you. At the same time, I also hope that you will use your communication module to assist me in commanding the troops during the battle. I will protect you with my life, Commander. With a powerful bodyguard in hand, Chen Feng can finally start the containment mission that will cost 5,000 rumor points. Do you want to spend 5,000 rumor points to start the level containment mission? Question mark. Yes, ding. The E-Class containment mission has started, and several weird murders have occurred in the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood of New York City recently. Question mark. During the investigation, the police found that a large amount of evidence had been erased and all information was lost. Question mark. Four poles sent two agents to investigate the Hell block, but soon there was no news from the two agents. Question mark. This unusual case has even attracted the attention of SHIE, LD and Hydra. Question mark. Start the mission and investigate the mysterious case of Hell's Kitchen. Question mark. Chapter 28 Widow Sister and Sky Team Up Again, Chaos Appears. The case of Hell's Kitchen attracted SHIELD's attention all the time, and they immediately dispatched the SHIELD containment force headed by Phil Coulson. This is the first appearance of the SHIELD containment unit, named SHIELD Anomaly Handling Force. At a murder scene somewhere in Hell's Kitchen, Natasha Romanoff and Sky, disguised as Fobola, frowned at the dead bodies at the scene. Detective Natasha Romanoff, the autopsy report is out, 
and the decedent died from the same 6.5mm 39 rifle bullet as last time. Hearing this, Natasha Romanoff frowned and fell into deep thought. Seems like they're using the same kind of rounds that the Foundation uses for assault rifles, Sky asked. Agent Natasha Romanoff, do you think this might have something to do with the Foundation? There is a certain relationship, and it may be that the murderer wants to lead us in this direction. After all, the Foundation has disappeared and become silent since the last incident. When Sky and Natasha Romanoff came to Hell's Kitchen, they found that in the Hell's Kitchen area, all the witnesses connected with the first few supernatural murders, even the nipped police officers, were brutally murdered. And those murderers acted very professionally, even S-H-I-E-L-D, except that the autopsy showed that the murderer died from a 6.5 39mm rifle bullet, there was nothing to gain at all. Except for the MTFE-11 assault rifle used by the Foundation. This rifle ammunition of 6.539 caliber is used by no military organization in the world. This also made SHIELD wonder for a while whether the Foundation was killing people and eliminating evidence. However, Widow and Sky, as SHIELD agents who had in-depth contact with the Foundation, firmly rejected this speculation. Under the repeated requests of the two, Phil Coulson, who is a good old man, had to agree to the request of the two to come and investigate. It's just that they investigated for a whole day but found nothing. All the evidence and materials collected from the first few dissidents who were killed were destroyed just one day ago. It is unbelievable that the evidence of the nip was actually looted. The security guards and police officers guarding the police station on duty that day were all killed by 6.539 rifle bullets. Because of this incident, many centrists in SHIELD began to suspect that the foundation was behind the action. Pierce even suggested that Nick Fury issue an order for SHIELD to submit a bill to Washington to thoroughly investigate the entire territory of the suspected foundation. Strategic Security Agency. However, Nick Fury did not agree to this crazy proposal. Even if it was true, SHIELD would never rashly declare war on the Foundation without judging that the Foundation had seriously threatened the security of the Federation. So the pressure came to Phil Coulson's side, and Nick Fury issued an order to let Phil Coulson find out the truth of the matter as soon as possible. Not only Widow's sister and Sky, nearly a hundred agents from the entire SHIELD anomaly handling team took action. Except SHIELD got almost nothing today. Just as Sky was proposing to Natasha Romanoff about a beef sandwich from a recently popular roast beef rib sandwich shop, their radio rang. Here is agent number three of team three. Well, we seem to have found something different. The dissidents who died because of supernatural incidents. They all participated in a mountaineering team in the Loki Mountains not long ago. Wait, who's there? While speaking, there was a burst of gunshots from Melinda May's agent. This is Team 3, there are casualties. We are fighting the enemy. Sky and Natasha Romanoff looked at each other. And then Natasha Romanoff kicked the accelerator, and the Cadillac customized by SHIELD burst out with huge amounts of engine roar, and galloped towards the accident site. Melinda May's agent is in an old-fashioned apartment house, and the SHIELD agents here have been crazily shooting at the attackers with their weapons. Watch out for the grenade, Agent Mick exclaimed. She just had time to kick over the dining table to use as a cover. The two Aegis agents guarding the door were not so lucky, and they were instantly swallowed by the explosion. The dense gunshots were getting closer and closer, and Melinda heard several attackers throwing two more grenades and shock bombs in, and then they began to shoot at the wounded and howling Aegis agent rifles. Just when Melinda was about to go, the widow's voice came from the earphone. Support is here. As soon as the voice fell, the ceiling was blown down. Caught off guard. The widow sister fell from the sky, and her powerful physical skills knocked down the four attackers in an instant. What's going on? Are you from the Foundation? Widow sister looked at the enemy subdued by her in shock, and couldn't help blurting out. Because the enemies in front of them are dressed almost exactly like the Foundation. Unexpectedly, the controlled soldier got stabbed violently after hearing the Foundation, and spat blood at the widow, but she avoided it. Go to the F King Foundation. We are chaos splitters. If SHIELD intervenes in our war, you will only be greeted with destruction. War never ends. After speaking, the attacker has taken in more air and less air out. Sky, who rushed in from the side, inspected the corpses next to him, and shook his head at the widow. They all died of poison, and none of them survived. Chaos Splitter? Could it be the hostile forces of the Foundation? Chapter 29 Chaos Splitter Truth The origin of Marvel's local Foundation? Ding! SHIELD encountered Chaos Splitters in Hell's Kitchen and gained 5,000 rumor points. Question mark. Containment has been successfully summoned, and the New York District D-Level Foundation sub-base and 2,000 base workers and security personnel have been obtained. Question mark. Obtain the Hummerfall Mobile Task Force Unit Card. Question mark. Obtain the Service Gun Upgrade Card. Question mark. On a V-44X Blackfish flying to New York, Chen Feng raised his brows when he suddenly received a system prompt. Chaos Splitter? What's going on? How did this organization appear in this world? The Chaos Splitter, 
according to the setting of the foundation in the previous life, is a branch of the foundation. Because of the bewitching of desire, it betrays itself. It stands to reason that there shouldn't be such an organization in this world. System, how can there be an organization called Chaos Splitter in this world? After hearing Chen Feng's interrogation, the system actually responded. It is detected that the host has obtained the E-level foundation authority, and the host can inquire about related consultations. Question mark. The system has released information before, and this world has been eroded by the contained objects for decades. Question mark. During World War II, an MTF mobile task force encountered a space-time storm and came to this world when it was storing a containment object? Question mark. This MTF force was almost completely annihilated after storing the contents? Question mark. The surviving mobile task force members were taken away by the Allied forces and the remnants of Hydra? Question mark. Some task force members who came to the Allied countries assisted the White Eagle Federation to establish their local foundation, the National Land Strategy Bureau? Question mark. And the task force member who was taken away by the remnant of Hydra happened to be a member of the Chaos Splitters? Question mark. So this remnant of Hydra became independent from the Hydra organization, and after absorbing part of the technology of MTF, they formed the Chaos Splitter of this world? Question mark. Hearing this, Chen Feng calmly opened a can of happy water, and continued to ask in his heart, then what happened afterwards? Are these MTF still there? In the Global Strategic Security Agency. There is still a special task force member alive at that time, and others, including the Chaos Splitter, are also dead? Question mark. Since then, the Chaos Splitters of this world have been in a state of hostility with the Global Strategic Security Agency. Because their existence is too secretive, they have not been known by SHIELD and Hydra? Question mark. So in terms of combat power, what is the combat power of the Chaos Splitters in this world? How does it compare to the Foundation I lead? Ding. An additional 1,000 rumor information fee will be charged? Question mark. It's really stingy. A system that desperately wants money, deduct 1,000 rumor points, and tell me the information? Question mark ding. I have received 1,000 rumor information fees. The answer is that they cannot pose a threat to the host? Question mark. After all, the chaos splitters in this world only obtained part of MTF technology, and they are different from the chaos splitters in the real containment world. They have no system support and can only develop weapons in reverse. After all. They are caused by the erosion of the world leftovers only? Question mark. However, the ultimate technological direction of the chaos splitters in this world is biased towards biotechnology, which may cause certain troubles to the host? Question mark. Trigger a new branch line, eliminate the chaos splitters in Marvel, and get corresponding rewards according to the number and degree of elimination? Question mark. Trigger a new branch line to recover the assets of the Global Strategic Security Bureau. Every time you recover a certain amount of assets from the Global Strategic Security Bureau, you can get system rewards? Question mark. Unexpectedly, there is such a cause and effect. The Chaos Splitters and the Global Strategic Security Agency in this world were unexpectedly formed by the butterfly effect caused by an MTF mobile task force that crossed during World War II. Chen Feng suddenly thought of the containment object and asked, System, that containment object? Won't it also be counted as assets? There is no wrong host, the containment is also included in the assets, and it is the most valuable asset, but at this stage, you should consider the containment task at hand? Question mark. At this time, Miss 2B came over from the cockpit, and said in that nightingale-like voice, Commander, the paratroopers of the task force, they will arrive in the suburbs of New York in 30 minutes. Let the plane land at the Foundation D-Class airfield in New York. Then send troops into Hell's Kitchen to investigate. Okay Commander, I will convey your mission now. 2B is no longer just a bodyguard, she has the function of commanding the communication system, and even temporarily acted as Chen Feng's adjutant. Don't look at her current image of a delicate, gentle and elegant female adjutant, but whoever underestimates her will have to pay the price in blood. This is the 2B lady who is one of the ceilings of the Neil machinery world. Her combat power alone can easily deal with a modern heavy armored brigade. If she gets upset and hits your chest with a small fist, she can definitely make someone come true. Ani Chan exists. Chen Feng picked up the happy water and drank it down. Things are getting more and more interesting. The difficulty of E-level missions is increasing, but the rewards will be very rich. Chapter 30 Fatal Photos, Containment 096 Shy People In a messy old apartment, the cleaner of SHIELD is cleaning up the corpse. Phil Coulson rushed in with several agents and asked, How's the situation? Agent M sighed, the casualties were heavy, although the number of attackers was not large. There was only a combat team of about 12 people in total. 23 of our people were killed, 6 were seriously injured, and 12 were slightly injured. If Detective Sky and Natasha Romanoff hadn't arrived in time, 
I'm afraid we would have suffered more casualties, Phil Coulson asked with a sullen face. Have you found out what they are doing? They call themselves the Chaos Insurgents and seem to be an unknown force, but we can be sure that they want to get the containment. Not one alive? Sky shook his head and added, there are no survivors. They were very decisive. They took poison and committed suicide immediately after being captured. However, they seem to be at odds with the Foundation. Phil Coulson glanced at the corpses on the ground. The equipment of these Chaos Splitters is indeed very Foundation-like, and their equipment is much better than that of ordinary SHIE LD agents. Maybe I should apply to Director Nick for support. In addition to the suspected contained objects, there are also these unidentified and highly threatening chaos separatist organizations. Our current manpower is simply not enough. Hearing what Phil Coulson said, Natasha Romanoff seconded, Please ask the Director for support. Agent M has found clues, and we must act quickly. After hearing so much bad news, Phil Coulson finally heard some good news. His expression was shocked, and he asked eagerly, About the clues, have you found anything? The dissidents in the previous supernatural cases all came from a mountaineering team that climbed the Rocky Mountains. Most of them are dead. Our current clue is that in Queens, there is still a mountaineering team member named Henry alive. We have asked the protection team to protect him. After understanding the whole story, Phil Coulson knew that it was not too late, otherwise it would be difficult to deal with some variables, so he immediately said, then let's meet this Henry. Okay, guys, let's go now. Twenty minutes later, Six special Cadillacs of the SHIE LD Anomaly Handling Unit stopped near SHIE LD Safe House in Queens, New York. Phil Coulson, Melinda, Sky, Natasha Romanoff, and three other agents from Phil Coulson's team met the witness in the interrogation room of the safe house. It's just that when Phil Coulson saw this witness named Henry, his eyes were dull. His expression was terrified, he kept muttering something, and his spirit almost collapsed. Seeing this, Phil Coulson frowned and looked at the agent of the protection team and asked, What's wrong with him? Well, he's been like this since we got him under guard. The psychiatrist has examined him, but the situation still hasn't improved. Phil Coulson took a deep breath, then sat across from Henry, and asked, Mr. Henry, can you tell me what happened to your mountaineering team? We are federal agents, and I promise to protect you. Safety. Hearing what Phil Coulson said, Henry raised his head tremblingly, and asked in an uncertain tone, Really? I promise. You should at least trust the Federation. Give me a cigarette, please. The agent at the side threw him a pack of cigarettes. Henry took out a cigarette with slightly trembling hands, lit it tremblingly, took a deep breath of the cigarette, and recalled it with lingering fear on his face. On the third of this month, a group of mountaineering enthusiasts organized a mountaineering activity. After returning, strange things gradually happened. Seeing this, Phil Coulson was puzzled. Did something strange happen after you came back? What happened? Hearing what Phil Coulson said, Henry said with extreme fear, it seems to be a photo, after Athena, one of our female players, developed the photo that day, strange things happened frequently, anyone who saw the photo collection at that time was dead, damn it, that monster will definitely come, Athena was the first to die, hell, she must have provoked something like a witch, you must protect me, it seems that at this point, Henry seemed to have been greatly stimulated, and his spirit became abnormal again, at this time, Natasha Romanoff came in and said, Phil Coulson, we have already found out that Athena has a husband, at the moment is near Vegas, we asked the agent to protect it, just after finishing speaking, Natasha Romanoff's cell phone rang suddenly, she frowned, and then connected the call, on the other end of the phone, Chen Feng's voice came, Natasha Romanoff was already used to the supernatural powers of the foundation, she didn't even want to guess how Chen Feng got his own mobile phone number, and didn't bother to ask him why he had his own mobile phone number, Agent Natasha Romanoff, to make a long story short, let your agents near Vegas give up their targets and retreat immediately, or it will be too late. What? Mr. Chen Feng, please explain clearly, why do you want to evacuate? If I'm not mistaken, what you are investigating is containment 096. Your strength in Vegas cannot resist 096 at all. As soon as he finished speaking, the communication was suddenly interrupted inexplicably. Damn it, it's electromagnetic interference. Sir, the safe house is under attack. Hurry up and evacuate the witnesses, it must be a chaos splitter. While talking, Outside the SHIE LD safe house in Queens, SHIE LD's agents had already engaged in a fierce gun battle with the Chaos Separatists. Chapter 31 Phil Coulson, my stronghold of SHIE LD is impenetrable. Due to the attack by the Chaos Separatists, Phil Coulson had to immediately decide that Phil Coulson's team and others should transfer the witness Henry. After leaving behind a certain defensive force, they hurriedly left through another evacuation channel of the safe house. Not long after, Phil Coulson, the widow and Sky, May's agent, took the surviving witness Henry to the new safe house in a bulletproof Cadillac. Taking a breather, Phil Coulson asked, Agent Natasha Romanoff, did you get a call from Chen Feng just now? As for Chen Feng, although Phil Coulson has heard of his name, he has actually never met him at all, only read his superficial information. 
The existence of this suspected high-level Foundation commander has long attracted the attention of SHIELD. Phil Coulson, who is the chief officer of the SHIELD Exception Handling Force, also attaches great importance to Chen Feng. He knew that Natasha Romanoff and Sky had met Chen Feng last time, so he was very concerned about Chen Feng's call. Natasha Romanoff had a thoughtful look in her eyes, and raised her head when she heard Phil Coulson's words, and replied, he mentioned that our agents in Vegas need to be evacuated but our defense forces there are very sufficient. Phil Coulson laughed nonchalantly when he heard the words, Isn't that Mr. Chen Feng a bit whimsical? The witness on the Vegas side is protected in a small secret stronghold of SHIELD. Even if it is a powerful gun it is impossible for mechanized infantry regiments to simply break through the... It seems that he still doesn't know enough about the power of SHIELD. As far as we know, the Beast of Thousand Throats, which the Foundation calls Anomalous Containment 939, even if that monster attacks that stronghold head-on, it will die with hatred. As the Hydro agent of the Ghost in the team, Grant Ward smiled slightly, with a mocking expression on his face. The Foundation has been silent for so long, I'm afraid that the last containment 939 has already seriously injured them, right? It still depends on our SHIELD. The National Strategic Security Bureau is just a declining intelligence department, and he can only get some outdated information. Natasha Romanoff agent, Sky agent. I think you put the foundation it's too strong to describe. Is it possible that they are not as powerful as we thought? Seeing this, Sky snorted coldly, the foundation uses mortal bodies to contain abnormalities. Even if you say they are a declining organization, they sacrificed for human beings. What right do you have to tarnish their honor like this? It's just winners and losers, which means that they have no qualifications, and they don't have that ability. Will the storage be handed over to us in the future? Sky glared at Grant immediately, and the widow didn't give him a good look and the atmosphere turned cold instantly. When Phil Coulson saw his subordinates arguing, he couldn't help smoothing things over. Okay, okay, don't fight over these things. Then Phil Coulson delivered his verdict directly, ending their debate. In Vegas, we just need to remind them to be careful. I think the most dangerous ones should be those chaos splitters, not the containment objects this time. After all, we have all seen the combat power of the contained objects. Monsters like the 939,000 more beast in the contained object can kill them even with a large caliber sniper rifle. The defense we have in Vegas is solid. Even if there is a containment object, even if it is a monster like a big lizard like in the movie, our firepower that can blow it up. Don't worry too much, everyone. Definitely, the Foundation reminded us with good intentions. Grant, how can you maliciously slander the superiors of the friendly department? After Phil Coulson finished rounding the field. Sky and Grant did not continue to quarrel. Sky snorted and turned his head to continue looking at the scenery outside the window. Unbeknownst to Phil Coulson, just after he finished speaking, an uninvited visitor came to the secret SHIELD stronghold in Vegas. In the middle of the night, on a farm far away in Vegas, several heavily armed SHIELD armed guards are patrolling. This is the secret stronghold of SHIELD. Today, a witness was transferred to this stronghold for guarding. So the guards stepped up their vigilance. A patrolling guard suddenly stopped in his tracks. He looked at the bottom of the wall in confusion, and there seemed to be a suspected human-shaped existence approaching the wall. Hey man, there seems to be something in there. Hearing his words, the guards on the side also stopped, and the two carefully observed the suspected human-shaped black figure below. It was suspected to be 2.4 meters high, and the arms and body were seriously out of proportion, like a severely malnourished person. When the guards saw the human figure clearly, he couldn't help murmuring. WTF, what kind of monster is this? His skin was extremely pale, without any pigment on his skin. He was as thin as skin and bones. His arms were slender with sharp and slender nails, and his narrow and disproportionate jaw showed that this was not human at all. Dot. It seemed that the monster found that the two people saw his appearance clearly, and suddenly he seemed to be in great sorrow, and then he covered his face with his hands, and screamed and cried, sending out an inarticulate expression. The sound of the two armed guards of SHIELD felt goosebumps and their hairs stood on end. Shet, it seems, rushed over. In the next second, the shy man in containment 096 appeared in front of the two armed guards at an extremely terrifying speed. Terrible howls and screams sounded, and the sirens rang loudly at the secret stronghold of SHIELD Vegas. Chapter 32 Horror Containment 096 The Shy Man 2B What's going on with the shy person in containment 096? Report Commander Containment 096 is attacking the SHIELD Vegas stronghold frantically. Correct the image and send it out. OK Commander, the corrected image has been uploaded. In front of Chen Feng, there was an image of Containment 096 Shy Man massacring in the SHIELD Vegas stronghold, but its face was almost aced. Chen Feng picked up the file report of the Foundation's containment, and saw a description of Containment 096 clearly written on it. Containment 096 Shy Man a humanoid creature approximately 2.38 meters tall. Subject is little muscle mass, 
and preliminary weight analysis indicates mild malnutrition. The arms are grossly disproportionate to the body, each approximately 1.5 meters long. Most of the skin is completely free of pigment and no hair on the body surface. Containment 096's jaw opening can be up to four times the normal jaw opening of an average human. Apart from the lack of pigment in the eyes, the rest of the facial features are similar to those of ordinary humans. Containment 096 is generally very docile and harmless. However, when someone sees SCP-096's face, either directly, through a video, or even through a photograph, it will enter a state of severe distress. When it becomes extremely sad, and then goes berserk, Containment 096 will cover its face with its hands and begin screaming, crying, and making inarticulate sounds. Just like the witch in Left 4 Dead, she rushed to 0961 desperately and killed him. 0961 refers to the victim who saw the face of Containment 096. The berserk container 096 will arrive at 35 km per hour? Question mark varies in km per hour and seems to depend on the distance from containment 0961. At the moment, no known material or method can stop SCP-096 from advancing, and 096 seems to have a natural ability to perceive 0961's location. And in the process of 096 killing 0961, 0961 will not leave any traces, and the containment 096 will return to a calm and docile state a few minutes after killing 0961, and then it will try to return to, to its natural habitat. Due to the potential of the subject to trigger a massive chain reaction, including breach of foundation secrecy and loss of civilian life, recovery of the subject should be considered a level of priority. Chen Feng put down the foundation's containment file with a blank expression. These files are roughly the same as the foundation materials he had seen in his previous life, and this is the first time he can observe the images of containment 096 in reality. So too B, who possesses the high-tech electronic warfare ability, hacked into the SHIELD system long ago, and controlled all the monitoring and changed all the images of the face of the contained object 096 in the monitoring into a mosaic. Otherwise, once the video with his facial image is leaked, God knows how many people will die. But Chen Feng didn't know that everyone in SHIELD was looking at the same video as himself. Phil Coulson just said that the SHIELD stronghold is solid, and the SHIELD stronghold in Vegas has a big problem. Nick Fury at the moment was watching SHIELD's agents and armed guards being frantically massacred by containment 096 shy man in the SHIELD stronghold in Vegas with a grim face. Whether it's all kinds of light and heavy firearms, or even heavy weapons such as heavy machine guns, gatling machine guns and bazooka launches, they can't stop the progress of the contained object 096 the shy person. All SHIELD defense forces blocked in front of containment 096 the shy man were ruthlessly destroyed. Just at the moment, looking at the mosaic, Nick Fury became angry. What the hell is going on? Our surveillance has been hacked, and the containment is killing our people, and now we can only see a mosaic. This is a disgrace to SHIELD. Nick Fury looked fiercely at Phil Coulson and others from stereo image communication and slammed the table. I need someone to find out who the hell hackers got into our system. If it's the scum calling themselves chaos splinters, kill them all. Shame, shame, shame. Our people are being slaughtered. I, the chief, can only stand by and watch. Phil Coulson, give me a way to get rid of that bastard. Phil Coulson on the communication side wiped the cold sweat from his brow, and replied, Director Nick, according to our information, this is called 096 shy persons containment by the foundation and it seems that its main goal is to kill everyone who sees a man climbing a photo. We also have two witnesses who have been urgently transferred from Queens to two secret SHIELD strongholds. We can deploy stronger defense forces in these two strongholds, and we will let the spy satellite continue to track the shy person in the containment 096. As it advances, we will mobilize military support to completely destroy it with powerful firepower, and wash away the shame of SHIELD. After hearing Phil Coulson's reply, Nick Fury's anger dissipated a lot. Good plan. Phil Coulson, with the military's firepower superiority, we can definitely eliminate this monster. Anyway, SHIELD plus the military's firepower, the advantage is mine. Do it well, Phil Coulson. Finally, I hope that within three days, I will meet the damned hacker. After finishing the communication, Phil Coulson heaved a sigh of relief and loosened his sweat-soaked tie. I saw a few agents on the side watching their noses, their noses watching their hearts and Natasha Romanoff and Sky were still engrossed in watching 096 walk towards the witnesses who were tightly protected by the last line of defense. Natasha Romanoff shook her head and sighed, it's over. Five minutes later, the last vitality of the SHIELD Vegas stronghold was exhausted, and the witnesses protected by SHIELD were killed in the tightly guarded stronghold. Chapter 33 Black Marinated Egg, Isn't It Just a Containment Object? Van Fleet Ammunition, 
The advantage is mine. At this time, Nick Fury stared at the 096 shy man who destroyed the entire SHIELD Vegas stronghold. I saw this guy covered in a mass of mosaics in the video, straight and straight. It directly destroyed the reinforced concrete structure and various super heavy alloy protective doors in the base like tofu. Then it came to the outskirts of the base. And then containment 096 started running towards one place at an incredible speed. Where is it going? Nick Fury looked at the intelligence analyst next to the command room. The analysis officer, a blonde woman with glasses in an all uniform, raised her glasses, and quickly typed on the keyboard to reply, Sir, according to the path analysis, it seems to be going to the location of witness number two. Then, the glasses all analyst exclaimed, Its speed has reached 328 km slash h, which is equivalent to a supercar. At this speed, it will arrive at the location of witness number two in only three hours and twenty-five minutes! Exclamation mark. Have you contacted the military with Phil Coulson? We need to stop this containment 096 immediately. It seems to be moving in a straight line, and witness two needs to take a helicopter to change the location, so that 096 avoids the city and enters no man's land. Sir, I've sent orders to Agent Phil Coulson and Protection Team too. Sir, it seems that containment 096 is modifying its route and it was successfully led to no man's land by us. Nick Fury immediately switched the communication to Phil Coulson and asked, Phil Coulson, how is your situation? Sir, we have contacted the military. The military will dispatch two gunboats and six 8N Warthog attack aircraft in the air. We will intercept him at an intermediate node in Vegas. We will be able to successfully intercept it. Very good. Phil Coulson, let's definitely beat the 096 with a firepower density like Van Fleet's ammunition. SHIELD they will definitely fail this time. At the D-level military base of the New York Foundation, Chen Feng rested his chin on both hands, staring at the screen quietly, like a spectator who has already known the ending, and calmly stated his conclusion. Miss 2B calmly stood behind him and served the freshly made latte. Commander, since SHIELD is doing useless work, why don't you stop their actions and let the MTF Mobile Task Force directly contain 096? Hearing 2B's doubts, Chen Feng sighed, that's because human beings have never been creatures that can learn from the lessons of history. If they don't experience setbacks, they won't understand their immaturity. In the real-time video at this time, the screen turned and came to the open space in the Vegas desert. At the moment the military radio was heard in the picture, and a powerful attack formation composed of two AC-130 aerial gunships and six A-10 warthogs appeared in the sky. This is the Warthog attack formation. We have arrived at the attack area and found the target. Can we start the attack? Attack allowed. Fire freely until the target is destroyed. Warthog received. Formation is about to enter combat position. All units disarm their weapons and start attacking freely. As soon as the words fell, 12 high explosive air to ground missiles were shot out from the wing pylons in an instant, and accurately hit the human figure in the high speed movement with trailing flames. After being hit by the terrifying explosion, this figure seemed to disappear in the thick smoke and flames of the explosion. Looking at this scene, the flight crew said in an uncertain tone, Target destroyed? The next second, that figure appeared. It seemed to ignore the iron guys attacking it in the sky, and continued to run at a steady previous speed. Damn, what kind of monster is this? Keep firing. Repeat. Keep firing. As soon as the words fell, three AC-130G aerial gunboats fired wildly. The 105mm automatic cannons, 35mm cannons, and 7.62mm cannons on the gunboats were all attacking crazily. The 8N Warthogs continued to fire the air-to-surface missiles, and even after all the air-to-surface missiles had been fired, they approached the ground and dropped the 1,000 pound bombs with precision. However, even if the desert on the ground was bombed to be riddled with holes like the surface of the moon, the progress of 096 was not delayed at all. He is still unswervingly advancing at the steady speed of 328 km slash h. The Paladin self-propelled artillery and M270 rocket launcher of the artillery regiment are in place. We are ready for a saturation attack at any time. Fire, fire. Be sure to stop the target. Target unit. Three cardinal fire strikes. Fire. The federal military has already begun to use ground artillery units. The deafening artillery sounds and the thick smoke in the attack area can be seen clearly even in small towns dozens of kilometers away. The federal people who don't know even think that the federal army has started to fight aliens again. The desert in the attacked area was even blasted into magma, and the sand was burned into glass, but 096 was still advancing at a speed of 328 km slash h. Nick, Fury and Phil Coulson at the moment are no longer as full of confidence as before, but dazed and uneasy. Under such a firepower density, it didn't stop 096's progress at all. Could it be that tactical nuclear weapons can only be used to hinder its progress? Ten minutes later, a B-2 bomber flew over 096's head. A blazing white light like the sun appeared, 
followed by a mushroom cloud slowly rising. All the images were invalidated by the EMP interference from the nuclear explosion until the images returned to normal again. Nick, Fury and Phil Corson saw the 096 still traveling at 328 kilometers slash H, or less H I E L D and Hydra who saw the scene became suspicious. What kind of monster are we fighting? Chapter 34 The Foundation has acted. Seeing the dissipating mushroom cloud on the screen, and the moving object 096, all bystanders knew that SHIELD was powerless to stop 096. Chen Feng put down the happy water, and said lightly, SHIELD's defense line has been breached, 2B has the task force ready, and they can act now. Miss 2B played the role of adjutant very dutifully and said, All right commander, I will pass on your instructions right away. Whether it's Nick, Fury or Phil Coulson, they now have a whole new understanding of what's contained. It's unbelievable that a creature, and a living body with a file size similar to that of a human, can not only run at a speed comparable to a supercar. What's even more frightening is that even the nuclear weapons that human beings are proud of can't stop it at all. Can we defeat such a monster? All of us at SHIELD are plunged into deep self-doubt. Instead, the people at Hydra were very excited. Such a powerful containment, such a powerful 096, if anyone controls it, wouldn't it be the control of a terrifying super weapon? That's not invincible. In the Foundation Paradise Island base at, at the moment, there is a huge underground hangar with flashing alarm lights. This is the airbase of the Foundation's class headquarters on Paradise Island, and a mobile task force is already ready to go. Accompanied by the dark red light of the warning light, a group of soldiers wearing black combat uniforms, loaded with live ammunition, and armed to the teeth lined up in ten queues. They are the cornerstone of the Foundation, MTF Mobile Task Force. MTF Mobile Task Force designation NU-7, Hammerdown, the armed mobile task force, Hammerfall is a battalion-sized division consisting of three special infantry, a mechanized armored battalion, and a heavy tank company. There is also a helicopter group, a chemical biological radiological nuclear, CBRN, company, a combat engineer battalion, a nuclear weapons specialist, NWS, team, and a brigade-sized mobile task force of additional combat specialists and support personnel. Around them were infantry fighting vehicles, tanks, armored vehicles, and logistical vehicles. Behind them are 48 V-44X Blackfish and 8 AH-99 heavy attack helicopters with countless various equipment, ammunition and weapon boxes. If there is any SHIELD agent here, I am afraid he will exclaim, because the equipment of these soldiers and the vehicles in the base are at least 20 years ahead of SHIELD. At the moment they are ready to go and their fighting spirit is high. The commander of Mobile Task Force Hammerfall, at the moment, is briefing the task force's key officers. According to the highest instruction of the director of the foundation, the Hammerfall task force needs to act and go to a farm outside New York to contain 096. Confirm again, this operation of the mission includes two parts, namely the special containment operations part and the security intervention part. The containment force will contain 096, and other security forces need to be responsible for guarding the enemy. Based on credible intelligence, our enemies may have chaos insurgents waiting in the dark. In order to ensure that mass civilian deaths are not triggered, we will go out first, Commander Chen Feng said, and will deploy Hell Paratrooper Task Force as our backup. But what I want to say is, let them serve as backup, this time the mission only needs to use a hammer drop is enough. The task briefing is complete, MTF. Do you have any questions, Chief Officers? No problem sir. Then go back to your respective teams and deliver the mission briefing. We're about to set off. Confirmation completed. At the moment the green light is on, indicating that the base is ready to attack, and the task force commander doesn't want to talk too much nonsense. Immediately issued a sortie instruction. It's the green signal. The special advance team is leaving. Hurry up, board the plane. You can go, you can go. The takeoff director waved the flag in his hand, and then the ground crew in yellow reflective vests gave the Hercules flight a thumbs up. Then the roar of huge engines of 12 V-44 Blackfish as the advance team sounded. As the advance team, the special containment force will set off first to start the containment operation and fly to New York. Somewhere on the coastal level of Paradise Island, the platform of the base opened, and then one after another V-44X Blackfish took off along the underground runway and took off into the sky one after another. Immediately after about 20 minutes, the second batch of armored vehicles was loaded, and the remaining 36 V-44X Blackfish transport helicopters in the tank took off one after another. With the radar turned on deliberately, a huge fleet appeared in the airspace near Los Angeles, and flew towards New York at high speed. Not long after, in New York, Phil Coulson received a report from his men. What? Found a large number of unidentified flight objects. Is the Foundation dispatched? He immediately made a phone call. Sir Nick, it seems that the Foundation's air power is dispatched. Nick? Fury answered the phone, heard the news, and said in a trembling voice, What Foundation is dispatched? Then he let out a long sigh. I can only leave it to them, that monster is not something humans can defeat at all, 
Can he really be contained? Chapter 35 Is the Foundation Crazy? Want to contain 096 with flesh and blood? After seeing the huge fleet of the Foundation, Nick Fury and Phil Coulson didn't look relieved at all, but looked dignified. Nick Fury and Phil Coulson are both military experts, so when they saw the Foundation V-44X Blackfish Transport Helicopter, they guessed that the Foundation would use grand forces to contain 096. Because so many V-44X Blackfish transport helicopters were dispatched, they must be dispatched to ground troops. Are the people in the Foundation crazy? Why did they send out ground troops to die? Even good old Phil Coulson from SHIELD couldn't help but exclaim. It couldn't help that he wasn't surprised by the behavior of the Foundation. Containment 096, which can withstand even nuclear weapons, is still afraid of your conventional weapons. If you dispatch a large number of ground troops, isn't that an act of death? How could the Foundation be so reckless? Nick Fury and Phil Coulson originally thought the Foundation was here to save the scene, but who knew it was here to die? The last trace of luck in the hearts of the two disappeared without a trace the moment they saw the Foundation fleet. Originally, SHIELD's containment operation this time had the intention of testing the Foundation. They originally thought that even if the containment failed, the Foundation would still have the bottom line. If the Foundation pretends to be dead but doesn't know the truth, it means that the strength of the Foundation is not as strong as SHIELD imagined. Even if the containment failed, SHIELD would have reason to submit a request to the White Eagle Federation to take over the Foundation. At that time, if they can be allowed to take over the Foundation, they will naturally make a lot of money. No matter how bad it is, they can ask the Foundation to share the information on the contents, and take away some of the resources that were originally intended for the National Strategic Security Bureau. In this way, no matter how much sacrifice is made, it is worthwhile. It is simply blood money, although Nick Fury is the head of SHIELD, it is reasonable to say that he belongs to the good side of order, but as SHIELD director, he often only cares about gains and losses, and he is even a sophisticated politician. When it was time to sacrifice, he was very decisive. It is worthwhile to use hundreds of lives to test the power of the Foundation, so what's the matter with dying? After all, for the sake of justice, even if he sacrificed himself, he would not blink his eyes. But after all the calculations, I never thought that SHIELD had the bottom line. But what SHIELD didn't expect was that they planned to dispatch a large number of ground troops. This is the containment 096 that can withstand nuclear bombs. What is the use of your ground troops? Can you contain it? SHIELD dispatched AC-130 aerial gunships, a squadron of Apache attack helicopters, and a squadron of A-10 ground attack aircraft. A group of self-propelled howitzers, a group of brigade-level M270 rocket launchers were used, and finally a B-2 bomber was used to drop a 5,000-ton equivalent tactical nuclear weapon. Such blows have no effect on the contained object 096, and they can only return without success in the end. You will dispatch so many people recently. Is it useful for special forces to contain 096 shy people? Isn't it a gift for the shy people in 096? SHIELD and the federal military jointly operated and mobilized such a powerful firepower configuration, but they all declared containment failure. Your foundation uses these conventional military forces to contain 096 shy people who are physically resistant to nuclear bombs? Still works? Can it be contained successfully? Even, Nick, Fury was already shaking his head when he saw it, and he had a sense of seeing that Prime Minister Kao imitated Zuz village Fushazi. Black Braised Egg couldn't help mocking, the foundation has gone crazy. The anomalous containment that doesn't have any effect on nuclear weapons even sent special forces to die. Don't they understand that this is a suicide mission? The assistant on the side. Pierce, also echoed, it's a mission that is doomed to fail. It's a pity for those good guys. They still participate in the mission knowing that it is a suicide mission. Hearing Pierce's words, Nick Fury couldn't help showing a look of regret. They are all very good fighters. It's a pity that the Foundation will throw them out like this to die. Although he denied the Foundation's decision, Nick Fury still affirmed the bravery of the Foundation's mobile task force. Even opponents would admire this kind of fighter who knew he was going to die. It's just that if this is the case, how will SHIELD propose it at that time? Take over the Strategic Security Agency? On the other hand, Pierce paid more attention to the Foundation. It is indeed a powerful and ancient organization that dares to use sacrifices when necessary. Chen Feng is a non-toxic, unruly, and extremely decisive commander. Looking at this posture, thousands of people, an elite unit at the level of a synthesis brigade, will be sent away as soon as they say it. Whether it's Nick Fury or Pierce, at the moment their idea is to abandon the car and save the handsome. This is obviously a ZZ show operation, and it is impossible to contain it successfully anyway. SHIELD has killed so many people in order to contain 096. If the Foundation does not act, SHIELD will naturally have an excuse. But the Foundation is obviously playing tricks. Oh, USHIELD killed so many people and paid such a high price to contain 096. But the Foundation also sent so many people out to contain it. When the Foundation suffered heavy casualties due to containment failure, 
USHILD ran to propose to the Federation to take over the Foundation. Isn't this bullying honest people? Although SHILD is large enough, but the Federation has not yet reached the level of covering the sky with one hand, and other forces in the Federation with such an ugly face will definitely have serious resistance to this kind of behavior. However, whether it is a SHIELD director like Nick Fury who will do anything for justice, a seasoned agent chief like Coles, or an old scumbag like Pierce, no one thinks that the Foundation can contain 096 shy people who are physically resistant to nuclear weapons by sending conventional forces. Even thought of the action as a ZZ show in response to SHILD. Nobody believed the Foundation could succeed, except the MTFs. Chapter 36 From the attention of Mrs. Hydra, the duel between chess players, somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, in an underground facility with huge amounts of numerous soldiers and transport vehicles wearing similar Foundation equipment come and go. The difference between these soldiers and the Foundation task force is that they are all wearing a black and green camouflage uniform and an octopus-style gas mask with red reflective lenses. This is the base of the chaos insurgency. In a luxurious office, after two knocks on the door, a beautiful blonde female officer walked in. My lord, Chen Feng's information has been sorted out, and these two documents are about the Foundation's movements and SHILD, the feedback from Hydra. This so-called Grand Duke, wearing a more gorgeous style of black and green women's military uniform skirt, is actually a female Grand Duke! Exclamation mark. The heroine is charming with short hair and a graceful figure, exuding charming charm. Because of the overly broad chest, the military shirt is slightly tight, and the curve outlined by the tight skirt makes it difficult to look away. If any of the Hydra were here, they would be speechless in shock at the sight of the Grand Duke, because this person is clearly the famous Mrs. Hydra in the Hydra organization. Put the file down, and make me a cup of black tea, double milk, and single sugar. Ophelia stretched her waist, the desk was slightly shaken, she picked up the file and quickly read it. After a long time, after the female adjutant came in with black tea, she gracefully held the teacup and took a sip. Lillian, your tea-making skills have improved again. Thank you for your compliment, I am very happy to satisfy you. Aphelia put down the document, and moved her cold eyes to the window. The beauty sighed softly, and lifted the hair beside her ear a little lonely. The look is like a lonely chess player, sixty years have passed, I never thought that Hydra and SHILD are still so underdeveloped. Compared to the difficulties of the Rogers era, SHILD cannot even do basic strategic analysis and judgment now. Hydro has changed from an extremely powerful organization on the surface to the current gutter rat. Hearing Ophelia's emotion, the adjutant at the side laughed lightly. After all, neither of these two organizations has such a wise leader as Lord Hydella, and they are all incompetent morons. After all, compared with the immortals, these old age humans are still too immature. Sooner or later, the world will surrender to the strong. Don't pay too much attention to these two organizations. It's ridiculous that Nick, Fury and Pierce actually think that the containment of the Foundation will fail. They don't understand the Foundation at all. After all, they are the real successors of glory. Nick, Fury and Pierce are mediocre people who I can see through at a glance, but Chen Feng is different. He has controlled everything from the beginning. The Foundations of this world have at least dozens of contained items, and they also have information that we don't know, so how could it fail? Seeing this, the adjutant Lillian asked curiously, since the Duke knows that they can be contained successfully, why did you launch this operation? SHILD and Hydra trying to test the Foundation with such a disgusting show is a small gain. Why don't we use small things to make big things this time? After all, we are just aspiring people who have inherited part of the inheritance. We live forever because of the gifts of the contained objects. The Foundation is definitely not comparable to a powerful Foundation. After the Foundation's successful containment, we send combat troops to snatch the containment which is much higher than the probability of direct containment. Isn't this a kind of small gain? It's just that our game is more clever than SHILD and Hydra, because we used to be the foundation, and we know that when a mobile task force is dispatched, it will definitely succeed. Neither Hydra nor SHILD can comprehend the sublime decedent. Your Excellency, please rest assured that even though we are chasing the fire of truth for chaos, we will do our best for this, even if our bodies are broken, we will pursue this supreme path, and we will die without regret. The former Mrs. Hydra, the current Grand Duchess Hyadella slowly took off her gloves, and a flash of determination flashed in her eyes. Prepare my combat equipment, and order the troops to prepare for the best and the most high-level combat. There will be a fierce battle next. Seeing this, the female adjutant Lillian's A's were full of shock, and she hurriedly dissuaded her. Your Excellency, you don't need to participate in such a battle because of your noble status. Please trust the officers on the front line. Ophelia waved her hand, with a decisive look. Even the top commander of the Foundation goes to the front line every time they contain them. I'm afraid Chen Feng will be present in this operation. There's no need to persuade me. As a respectable opponent, I can't sit at the back with peace of mind. The Foundation's background is definitely stronger than our worst testament. It can't be overemphasized, so this time I must go out with the army. After all, 
If you encounter the level of extraordinary power, ordinary people will definitely not be their opponents. Hearing what the Grand Duchess said, the adjutant Lillian went down to prepare with full of admiration. It has been sixty years. This opportunity must not be missed. Dissidents. Do you know that I have been waiting for sixty years to fight against you again? Ophelia muttered to herself, with the corners of her mouth slightly raised, showing an extremely charming smile. But this smile was like frost. One thousand kilometers away from the Chaos Splitter Island base, beside a road somewhere outside New York, twelve V-44X Blackfish transport planes hovered quietly beside the road, at a height only a little higher than a utility pole. One by one, Mobile Task Force Hammerfall rappels down to the ground. Commander, a new seven Hammerfall Mobile Task Force, the advance troops are in place, the surrounding area has been cleared, and the operation can be launched at any time. Go ahead, good luck, a new seven. I'll keep an eye on you. In a command V-44X, looking at the mobile task force in action on the screen, Chen Feng suddenly felt something in the distance. In the dark, the eyes of the Chaos Splitter and the commander of the Foundation both looked in the direction of each other involuntarily. Chapter 37 Living to Death, The Brave Are Fearless Sir, as MTFC, your responsibility is very heavy, you should not come to the front line. MTF refers to the commander of the task force, definitely, the commander of the protagonist refers to the general. As the MTFC of the Mobile Task Force Hammerfall, Colonel Hans should have been sitting in the rear commanding combat missions, but at this moment he appeared on the front line fully armed. Hearing the persuasion from the Major's action captain, he shook his head and categorically refused. The 702nd and 703rd Battalions, as well as the 704th Armored Synthesis Battalion, are on the perimeter to guard against possible chaos insurgents. None of them are in much danger. However, the 701st Battalion now serves as the advance team to carry out the most dangerous containment missions. This mission is extremely important. Whether or not the 096 shy person can be accommodated is related to the lives and deaths of millions of civilians, so I must take it. Hammer, don't persuade me. The Major Operation Captain codenamed Heavy Hummus snorted coldly after hearing the words. I personally agree with your courage, but as a task force member, I firmly oppose your actions. Afterwards, I will definitely report your dangerous behavior to Commander Chen Feng. Hearing this, Colonel Hans laughed and shrugged his shoulders indifferently. If you go back alive, you can report whatever you want, even if you let me make coffee with my own hands and cut out you to admit my mistake. Major Hammer curled his lips. Today's menu in the kitchen is steak stewed in burgundy red wine, so you can drink your coffee after the meal. At this time, Hans pointed to the eyepiece on his finger and said, This is a special eyepiece developed by Wilhelm an A-level doctor of the Foundation. It will block the 096 face with a black mosaic based on the detected face. With this thing, we can definitely contain 096. At this moment, the voice of the front task force came from the headset. This is the scythe, approaching the target farm. I found the SHIELD helicopter, but there was no one there. Heavy Hummer received. We are 150 meters away from you. Pay attention to search. There may be survivors. At this moment, several gunshots came from the front and everyone looked solemn. Drone spot civilians, appears to be exchanging fire. Quick, go to the goal. The soldiers of the 701 Special Reconnaissance and Search Battalion trot forward quickly, and it didn't take long for them to arrive near the farm barn at their destination. The surroundings are in a mess, but only a few bloody and unrecognizable things can be seen. Muddy meat. Find the murdered civilians and weapons, etc. According to the radar detection of the containment, a signal has been detected nearby. Colonel Hans gestured to the task force on the side fighting posture. All MTF mobile task force members all entered the combat alert posture after seeing it, raised their guns, and unfastened the safety. At the moment, in SHIELD, Nick, Fury, Pierce, Phil Coulson, as well as Natasha Romanoff, Sky, and Melinda, are all watching the scene in front of them through the high-altitude drone. SHIELD has already failed in disgrace, and even the witnesses and surviving agents have become part of the mess just now. However, they were also curious about what kind of containment failure the Foundation would face when it kicked the iron plate this time, until they saw the special goggles worn by the task force members. The experienced Phil Coulson seemed to see some tricks, Director Nick, it seems that these task force members are wearing a special kind of goggles. Is this the key to containment? Hearing this, Nick Fury's eyes widened, and he slapped the table angrily. Damn, I should have thought that these people in the Foundation have an intelligence advantage that we don't even know. They know more about the contents than us. See this powerful containment is about to be contained by the Foundation. Pierce's eyes flickered for a moment, and he bewitched thoughtfully. Director, the photo of 096 is suspected to be a key item to drive 096. Such a dangerous thing. Should the Foundation provide a copy by then? Or if their containment fails, I think we also need to send follow-up troops to continue to get the photos. But Nick Fury didn't listen to him, but waved his hand and said perfunctorily, Let's talk about this. P. 
Pierce, this is not in the interest of SHILD. As the director of SHIELD, Nick Fury is a proud and arrogant person. Whether the Foundation succeeds in containment or fails, he is not easy to let go of this face. After all, SHILD also wants face. If you go to ask for something from your friendly department of the same level, how can it be so easy for the other party to give it to you? This shows the difference between Nick Fury and Pierce. People like Nick Fury prefer to follow the rules. Unless the power surpasses the opponent too much, he will make the rules himself. But despite being rejected, Pierce secretly planned whether to let the Hydra people find a way to get the photos. At this moment, in the screen, a figure with a mosaic appeared vaguely on the screen. It's containment 096 Shy Man. Here is Colonel Hans. We see it. The A-team is approaching. Here is the heavy hammer. I am leading Team B to destroy everything related to the containment. The eyepiece seems to be working. Colonel Hans, 096 is very docile and did not attack us. The task force members of Team A had already surrounded 096 in a circle. At this moment, the docile 096 suddenly became extremely sad, covering his face and crying. Snow. The eyepiece didn't work. Just as he finished speaking, 096 rushed towards a vanguard. No. Hans listened to the screams one after another on the radio. He knew that his soldiers were falling one by one. As the commander of the task force, his heart was bleeding, but under his strong psychological quality as MTFC, he forced himself to calm down at this time, because just now he saw 096 through the back, and silently recorded its original position. Colonel Hans lowered his head and walked through one corpse after another of the team members who had just died. At this time, 096 hadn't started to destroy the corpses. The scene was horrible, but Hans suppressed his grief and anger, silently picked up a hood, and recorded own deployment. He walked to 096's back slowly, lowered his head, did not look at 096's face, and then put the hood on 096's face. At this moment, the captain of the operation's heavy hammer's laughter came from the earphones. Hans, I can't drink your coffee. What's the matter, old buddy? Obviously the containment has been successful. You? He smiled and looked at the blurry mosaic photo in front of him, and slowly took off the eyepiece. After taking off the eyepiece, what I saw was a mountaineering photo that couldn't be more normal. In this photo, there may be only a few pixels of 096. He silently picked up the pencil at the side and then looked at the 096 who was still calm and hadn't started berserk, and silently picked up the pencil to scratch the photo. In the next second, 096 outside the window disappeared. He said on the public frequency with a smile on his face, MTF hammer drop, the containment is successful. In the next second, 096 wearing a hood appeared behind him. The smile on Operation Captain Heavy Hammer's face froze for a long time. Chapter 38 096 Containment Successful, Imminent Battle A group of task force members of the reserve echelon rushed over quickly and surrounded Colonel Hans. Are you all right, sir? Colonel Hans waved his hand, looked at the 096 shy man who had become docile again, silently picked up the radio, and repeated, Containment 096, the containment was successful. Nick Fury, who watched this scene through drone images, and Phil Coulson's team and others, at the moment finally understood why Natasha Romanoff and Sky respected the Foundation so much. Harsh as Nick Fury at the moment is also silent. Even Pierce, who hoped that the Foundation's containment would fail, didn't gloat when he just watched the task force lose the battle to contain 096. No matter how vicious people are, when they see these human warriors who sacrifice their lives to defend peace, they will respect them. Nick Fury was silent for a while, and said sincerely, they are the real heroes, like going to decedent to pay tribute. All the people from SHILD who were watching at the scene couldn't help but echoed him. Salute to the decedent. Whether it is an opponent or an enemy, even if they have different positions, when facing such an opponent, as long as they still have basic personality, they will respect them. Because the Foundation dies for all of humanity, they deserve respect. SHILD naturally doesn't want to snatch the containment, but Hydra and Chaos insurgents don't necessarily. Respect is all respect, but for profit. Hydra and Chaos Splitters are absolutely unscrupulous. In the V-44X Command Blackfish, Chen Feng heard the system's prompt. Containment 096 The shy person has been contained successfully. Question mark. However, the system did not immediately settle the settlement at this moment. Chen Feng knew that the matter was not over. I'm afraid this time, only when 096 is successfully brought back to the Foundation base, can the containment be considered a real success. The peripheral units were still on alert. At the moment Colonel Hans had no time to feel sad so he directed the task force to store the 096 shy person in a special containment cage. A V-44X Blackfish transported the containment cage containing 096 into the cargo warehouse under the guidance of the ground task force. Just as the transport plane was about to take off, Chen Feng heard a report from the intelligence officer next to the command room. Commander, our radar detected an unknown signal approaching 655 km outside the containment area. According to technical analysis, it should be a fifth-generation aircraft. 
suspected to be 3F-35S. Hearing the intelligence officer's words, Chen Feng's eyes lit up. Is it really here? Order Foundation Air Force fighters stationed at D-class base in New York to take off and intercept them. Oh, Chaos Insurgency? Or Hydra? Do you have an Air Force? A military airfield at a Foundation D-class base outside the New York suburbs. At the beginning of the mission, the Foundation's Air Force deployed here is on standby. The Foundation has a total of six fifth-generation all-weather fighters. If compared with the actual fighters, the fighters of the Foundation should be regarded as the level of 5.5 generations. These are the basic air units that are exchanged for gifts from A-level bases. Originally, Chen Feng thought that fighter jets would not be useful at this time, but who knew it would come in handy? The tower called Falcon Eagle Squadron. The airspace is cleared, and the headquarters ordered you to take off to intercept the enemy planes in the D-32 containment area. Falcon Eagle Squadron received it and is ready to take off immediately. Three black painted F-A-181 Black Sabah II fighters slowly left the runway. After the flight crew of the Falcon Squadron drove the Black Sabah II to the takeoff location, the engines of the three fighters were boosted suddenly, and blue tail flames spewed out. Immediately afterwards, the three Black Sabah II or Sky Fighters immediately accelerated their speed. After the speed reached the maximum, the flight crew pulled the steering gear, and the Warhawk took off. On the other side, three F-35A fighter jets of the Chaos Insurgents are rapidly passing the sky, getting closer and closer to the containment area. A helicopter like the V-44X Blackfish is a helicopter after all not a full-time fixed-wing fighter. Even if it is an advanced helicopter, it will be a headache to encounter a fighter that is behind its own technical level. Although the V-44X Blackfish has stealth paint, fixed-wing fighters must approach a certain distance to be able to lock, but it is still very dangerous to be beaten passively. Especially the transport plane that contained the contents. Once it was shot down, the consequences would be disastrous. Nick Fury from at the moment just got the message. Black Braised Egg frowned. What's going on? The fighter jets suspected of chaos splitters are rapidly approaching the Foundation's transport plane. Once they shoot down the transport plane, the consequences will be disastrous. Where is the base where the chaos splitters are deployed? They actually have F-35A fighter jets. This is within the federal territory. What is our intelligence system for? Director Nick, even if the nearest fighter jets are dispatched, it will take 20 minutes to arrive and it will be too late. At this moment, there was a sudden exclamation from the side. Director Nick, an unknown fixed-wing fighter from the Foundation. An air battle broke out over the containment area. Chapter 39 The battle broke out, come to the front line in person. Here is the Hayabusa squadron. It has arrived in the designated airspace and started to intercept the mission. This is Hayabusa 01, the radar has detected the signal source. The azimuth is 021, and the distance is 15 km. Target locked, aim 200D two launches. The radar is at a distance of 15 km, but the fighter planes of the Hayabusa squadron have locked onto the 3F-35 AS. AIM-200 D is the sixth generation hypersonic air-to-air missile, and its speed is as high as Mach-12. Six AIM-200 D hypersonic missiles burst into the air with a strong sonic boom. The huge friction with the air looks like six shining meteors with tail flames. Missile technology is almost a generation difference between two generations which leads to almost no reaction time of F-35A. When the flight crew of the Chaos Insurgents just saw the warning lights in the cabin light up, the alarm went off crazily, and they were already locked on by the air-to-air -air missiles. He first heard a few loud bangs through the HUD of his helmet. He saw only a flash of dazzling fire. The F-35A didn't even have time to dodge and dodge. The flight crew urgently pressed the parachute to eject, and the next second saw his plane burst into a ball of fire with huge amounts of fire. Mayday. Medite, I've been hit. Engine failure. Hydraulic fire. Damn. Where is the enemy? Heck, I can't see anything on the radar. Three advanced fifth generation aircraft such as the F-35A were shot down instantly without even being able to see the enemy on the radar. You must know that this is the most advanced fifth generation aircraft. This is F-35A. They couldn't even see the enemy, so they were locked and shot down from more than 10 kilometers away. Military experts often predict that the battle between the fifth generation aircraft will return to World War I and the dogfights of propeller aircraft in World War II. But now the side that subverts common sense has appeared in front of them. Three of the most advanced F-35s of the White Eagle Federation were shot down by the enemy from more than 10 kilometers away beyond visual range without even seeing the shadow of the enemy plane. This is also because the radar of the F-A-181 Black Sabre is only 20 years ahead of the current level. And such a fighter is just a basic fighter in the Foundation. Knowing that the fighter plane she dispatched was shot down, Ophelia frowned slightly. He didn't expect that the fighter jets of the Foundation were so powerful, and the air force he sent out didn't even play a containment role. But the arrow was on the string and had to be fired. Ophelia gritted her teeth, picked up the radio and gave an attack order. The end of chaos is coming, let the enemies of chaos tremble and fear. The attack begins. Chaos is coming. 
chaos is coming, with a burst of cheers from the walkie-talkie. The 702 and 703 Special Operations Battalions of the Hummerfall Task Force, which was on alert, were attacked by artillery fire at this moment. Report, encountered an enemy, suspected chaos splitter, the enemy has a certain mechanized force, equipped with at least 105mm caliber artillery is attacking us. When will the 705th Heavy Armored Battalion be deployed? Ten minutes more sir. Just as Hans was about to give an order, he suddenly saw a V-44X Command Blackfish transport helicopter slowly parked in the open space beside the farm. He stepped forward with a surprised face and gave a military salute. Sir, you, why are you here? Chen Feng returned a military salute with a slight smile, glanced at the task force around him, and said with a smile, Colonel Hans, the Hammerfell task force seems very relaxed. Reporting sir, I don't think the Chaos Separatists offensive is to be feared. After all, this is within the territory of the Federation and our battle must be controlled within a certain level. Even the Chaos Splitters will definitely not provoke a battle on a scale that is too large to be controlled at this time, in an area close to the heart center of the Federation. After all, to the world, we are still an organization hidden in the shadows. This means that they can't use too much heavy firepower, and even the air force that can be mobilized is extremely limited. Besides, the air supremacy is in our hands now. With the existence of Hayabusa Squadron, their large-scale dispatch will only become the target of gunboats. Hearing Colonel Han's report, Chen Feng smiled even wider, and nodded with satisfaction. Well done, Colonel Hans, but I think they may invest in a strong assault force to come here. Hans looked confused. Sir, 096 Shy Man has been contained, and now that V44X Blackfish will return to the base under the escort of Hayabusa Squadron, what value is there? Chen Feng looked at his confused subordinates, and instead of continuing to be a riddler, he said his plan, definitely because I am here. The top leader of a foundation is here. Do you think it will be worth more than 096? Perhaps we can witness today the unconventional force that the chaos insurgents put in. Hearing this, Colonel Hans's eyes widened and he argued. But sir, I think you should return to the command headquarters, as the highest command of the foundation. You, don't worry, Hans, everything is under control. I want to see what kind of means the chaos splitters can come up with. After finishing speaking, Chen Feng walked straight to the farmer's house that had become the temporary headquarters of the Hummerfell task force. Colonel Hans smiled wryly, then glared at the soldiers of the task force around him and shouted, no one should embarrass the task force Hammerfell. Nail those bastards to death in the outer positions. Chapter 40 Ophelia's Trump Card, The Hunter. Here is the 705th Armored Battalion. It is discovered that enemy armor is entering our defense zone. In the bushes, a KF-60 Jaguar main battle tank of the 705th Armored Battalion has already seen the Chaos Separatist armored troops approaching rapidly a few kilometers away through heat induction. Gunner, the main gun has been loaded, the computer has corrected the trajectory and it can fire. Commander, you can fire and attack number two target. Fire. The 130mm caliber smoothbore gun burst into flames at the next moment, and the shells hit a moving M2A1 Abrams tank like a flame in an instant. Commander. Good shot. Hit the target. Penetrated. The target has been destroyed. Move to the next target. The main gun is loaded, ready to fire. The ballistic computer has corrected the trajectory. Fire. On the other hand, on the side of the Chaos Splitters, a total of 26 M2A1 tanks and 12 M2A1 infantry fighting vehicles of the same heavy armored battalion were being beaten crazily. What's going on? I can't see anything. The heat sensor didn't find the enemy unit. I'm switching the observation equipment. Damn, I saw them. Southeast, 1.8 km. As soon as the words fell, the turret of the M1A2 Amber tank, which had discovered the enemy, was blown up and flew tens of meters away. Fight back. Come back. In the next second, the crew members of the currently most advanced M182 Abrams main battle tank found desperately that they could not penetrate the opponent's frontal armor at all. Only by relying on the accompanying M2A1 infantry tank to use Dow anti-tank missiles can it give the opponent a certain threat. However, when 12 Dows flew towards these enemy tanks, the missiles began to fly uncontrollably. Even if they hit one, they only saw a burst of flames and explosions. Immediately afterwards, the KF-60 Jaguar tank was unscathed, and it was an active defense device. In less than 10 minutes, there was a pile of burning wreckage and the remnants of the terrified chaos insurgency survivors on the ground. However, they could no longer afford any thought of resistance. Here is the 705th Heavy Armored Combat Battalion, and the enemies in our defense zone have been destroyed. This is the 702nd Combat Battalion. The enemy has been dealt with. We are the 703rd Combat Battalion, and the enemy has been eliminated. Colonel Hans nodded with great satisfaction, and walked towards Chen Feng to report. Report to Your Excellency, Supreme Commander. Mobile Task Force Hammerfall has completely wiped out the invading troops of the Chaos Insurgents. Chen Feng glanced at the report, put it down casually, and seemed to be thinking about something, 
of the chaos insurgents so vulnerable, their conventional forces didn't even break through the task force's defense. Hearing Chen Feng's doubts, Colonel Hans explained proudly, Sir, even though we all use the Foundation's basic military technology, in this world, our military technology is also ahead of normal major countries. 30-year level, under such a large technological gap, it is normal for them to be unable to beat us. After all, our equipment has a great advantage. Suddenly Chen Feng stood up, as if he had sensed something, he said in a deep voice, here we come. Come, what's coming? At this moment, the sound of firefighting between soldiers of the 701 Special Operations Battalion and the enemy suddenly came from the side of the farm. Report, there was a firefight. There was a fight with an unknown enemy, damn it. They are not human. In an instant, gunshots rang out. Quick, defend the commander-in-chief. While speaking, Colonel Han guarded Chen Feng, and the surrounding task force soldiers immediately formed a circle to protect his surroundings tightly. Your Excellency, Supreme Commander, please evacuate here immediately, it is too dangerous. While speaking, Chen Feng suddenly took out his service gun, pointed it in one direction, and pulled the trigger with energy storage, only to see a monster lurking from nowhere, waiting for an opportunity was shot in two. Chen Feng glanced at the monster with great interest, his eyes suddenly said, so it's biotechnology, B.O.W., a woman's indifferent UG voice sounded at this moment. Commander Chen Feng, surrender, you have no chance. At this time, everyone realized that all around them were four-legged strong and thick claws, and each of them seemed to be about three to four point five meters tall. Strong humanoid monsters, Chen Feng looked at the group of people wearing tights and stealth equipment headed by Ophelia, and then looked at at least hundreds of monsters. Interesting, these guys sneaked around the outer defense line quietly, and rushed to the direct headquarters without warning from the outer defense line, because modern headquarters generally would never deploy a large number of people in such a close area to the headquarters, otherwise it would be courting death to lure others to attack your headquarters. Generally, the main force of the guards will be deployed on the periphery to warn, but the troops that are actually here on the farm at this moment only have two platoons of troops. If you look at it this way, the other party will naturally feel that Chen Feng is settled. It's just that the soldiers are approaching the city, and the task force around Chen Feng is on the verge of an enemy. Colonel Hans is ready to fight to the death to cover the commander's evacuation at any time, but Chen Feng is still calm, as if everything is under control in the demeanor. Aphelia, who already felt that she was sure of winning, felt less certain again. By sacrificing a large number of peripheral troops, the Chaos Separatists won this opportunity to steal their home. For the commander Chen Feng, their goal must be to capture him alive, otherwise, all the scheming will be in vain. But why is he not nervous at all? He has no chance of winning with this force at hand. Ophelia had no choice but to shout again, surrender. Commander Chen Feng, we will give you the highest courtesy, stop making unnecessary sacrifices. Chen Feng laughed, you are the commander of the chaos insurgency who planned this attack, right? It's a wonderful tactic, but it's a pity... It seems that the combat power you have is not enough at all. 2B start your attack performance. Ophelia frowned when she heard the words, and the next second, her pupils constricted, and she shouted, be careful. As soon as the words fell, a figure fell from the sky, a cold light flashed, and a costly bow biochemical monster was cut in two. Chapter 41 2 B's gorgeous sword dance, turning the tide of battle by one person. Colonel Hans has been regretting his carelessness just now. The Foundation soldiers of the Heavy Hammer Mobile Task Force even planned to use their lives to fight a passage to cover the evacuation of Supreme Commander Chen Feng. Everyone has made this awareness, who knew that the situation of the battle would be reversed today. At the moment, when Colonel Hans and the task force members looked at the elegant figure with a half-prostrate body, one hand supporting the cracked ground, and a large white sabre almost two meters long in the right hand, they finally deeply understood realized one thing. Legend has it that in the Foundation, task forces are different from task forces. Some task forces, even with only a few members, can easily complete difficult tasks that a conventional force task force cannot accomplish. Containment mission. Miss 2B is the deputy of the Supreme Commander and a part-time security officer. She is a humanoid machine, which is known to everyone. However, most of the time, people are confused by her glamorous and arrogant figure. No one knows that she will be such a terrifying war machine. At the moment, Ophelia was the most depressed and angry. Although she was the Grand Duke of C. Della in the Chaos Splitter, she was also a combat agent and has been active since World War II. This time, in order to capture Chen Feng alive, the Chaos Insurgency paid a great price, using a large number of conventional military forces to attract the attention of the task force on the periphery. Afterwards, sneak troops and biological weapons called Hunters were sent to sneak into the base. Aphelia once thought that she was going to succeed, but at the last moment, she fell short, and her three views were about to suffer a terrible baptism. Chen Feng turned the service gun around and put it back into the holster. He didn't even move. The majestic eyes glanced contemptuously then raised his right hand calmly and waved, Miss 2B, 
except for the enemy commander and the personnel who put down their weapons and surrendered, other targets are not to be ignored. Follow commander. It has been updated to a red identification code, and the target is being cleared. 2B, can be said to be one of the strongest fighting dolls in the Yoa army, and she is not actually a B-type fighting type, her real type is E-type, the executioner type of Yoroa doll. The enemies she had dealt with in the past were either defectors who were also biochemical humanoids, or those terrifying mechanical life forms. No matter what kind it is in front of the current human army, it is an existence that can cause terrible damage, but those are just 2B's prey. Miss 2B stood up as if strolling in the courtyard, and stretched her left hand supporting the ground, and another small sword, the white promise, which was under the floating position, had already flown into her hand. Looking at this woman holding two long and short katana-like weapons, Ophelia only felt her scalp go numb. It was the first time for her to possess such extraordinary power. This person was so strong that she was not like a human being. She jumped from a height of an unknown number of meters, and then easily cut a hunter in two with a single knife. You know, according to Chaos Splitter's evaluation, the combat power of a hunter can at least be comparable to that of 939 sub-individuals. And more flexibility. Just such a terrifying monster who was instantly killed with a single blow. Under the terrible sense of oppression brought by 2B, all the stealth troops of the Chaos Separatists felt extremely difficult for a while. Finally, a soldier of the Chaos Insurgency couldn't bear such a terrible sense of oppression, aimed at 2B and pulled the trigger. The atmosphere is contagious. In the next second, all the Chaos Separatist stealth troops aimed their guns at 2B, but they saw an extremely terrifying scene. Wearing a black blindfold, a dress and high-heeled shoes, this white-haired woman who appeared on the battlefield directly split the bullets with the two sabers in her hand like a monster. The clanging of bullets and swords was accompanied by terrible sparks, and when the smoke cleared, she still walked towards the chaos insurgents as if strolling in a courtyard. A hunter pounced on this delicate-looking human lady, but the next second, the black military boot-style high-heeled shoes kicked it away dozens of meters away with an unreasonable kick. At this moment, 2B seemed to be serious. She sprinted for an instant, and then the knife flashed and the seven or eight hunters in front of her were chopped into pieces by the gorgeous sword dance. She dances on the battlefield like a fairy in the forest. Any monsters that stand in front of her are not her all in one enemy. The two sabers of the White Covenant and the White Covenant are frantically harvesting all enemies who dare to offend the commander. Under the terrifying weapons that can easily cut through the military armor steel of tanks and warships, the flesh and blood of carbon-based creatures are powerless to stop them at all. Even the biological weapon that the Chaos Splitters are proud of, the Hunter, was concocted with painstaking efforts. These horrific monsters are nothing more than the targets of being harvested. These monsters couldn't even hinder Miss 2B's actions for a second. Mrs. Hydra, the great Grand Duke Hyadella, Miss Ophelia, and the little Lieutenant Leah who was already trembling and standing in front of her with a gun, are numb at the moment. It took so much effort, only to encounter an unreasonable monster. Is this the strength of the Foundation? No, it's impossible. If the Foundation has such strength, why has the National Land Strategy Bureau shrunk for so many years and has been silent? Suddenly, Ophelia thought of a terrifying possibility. Her face suddenly became extremely bitter, as the hunters in front of her were mercilessly killed one after another. Miss 2B's footsteps, like Death God, struck Ophelia's heart. Ophelia sighed, Leah, put down the gun, it's meaningless to face monsters of this level. But Your Excellency the Duke, there is no point in resisting, we have failed. She simply threw the weapon on the ground. We surrender. Chapter 42 The Chaos Splitter voted. Ophelia's despair. Ophelia surrendered, very simply and neatly. Although Chen Feng calculated a lot, he never expected that the commander of the Chaos Separatists would surrender so cleanly. If Ophelia knew what Chen Feng was thinking, she must be extremely wronged. That's why they voted so quickly when they encountered a powerful and unfathomable organization like the Foundation. Facing the Foundation's crushing combat power, they simply couldn't muster up the courage to resist. A to be lady, this lost all the hunters they had accumulated with great difficulty, and even their elite ace unit, the Chaos Stalkers, lost more than half. When Ophelia saw 2B's terrifying combat power, she knew that their tactics had failed. They suffered such huge amounts of losses in just a face-to-face -face meeting less than 15 minutes. Facing the overwhelming combat power of the Yaru Hadols, it was simply beyond the reach of conventional manpower, even if they invested a full biological weapon force composed of 120 hunters. Ordinary hunters, in such a terrain environment, can easily wipe out regular light-armed human troops several times their own. But now, two full squadrons of hunters killed 120 hunters and dozens of Chaos Stalkers within 10 minutes of meeting each other. Every Chaos Stalker can be said to be the top soldier, but their fighting power in front of Miss 2B is not even as strong as a chicken. Facing such a terrifying enemy, Ophelia felt a deep sense of powerlessness for the first time. The last time she felt such powerlessness was when her identity as Hydra agent, Viper, was ruthlessly betrayed by Hydra. But this time, facing Miss 2B's overwhelming strength, 
She once again felt such powerlessness and the humiliation of defeat. Just one person, one person destroyed everything she was proud of and broke down her inner defense. She knew that even if she invested a few more times, she would still face the same result. You must know that the enemy they are facing is the Foundation. How can it be possible for the Foundation to have such a small Foundation? They've only sent out one Yoruba now, but who can guarantee that the Foundation has only one Yoruba? Since there is one, there will be a second, a third, and even an entire army. Looking at the cold beauty in a black dress, high-heeled boots, and eye patch, who looked like a noble file size sister in an outing, Ophelia felt a burst of despair. Only the Chaos Separatists themselves know that if this Foundation is the real foundation, all their resistance is futile. Even the real chaos splitters are nothing more than a branch of the foundation. Not to mention their successors in this world. This is like an aborigine with a big knife and a spear facing an enemy flying in a plane or driving a tank. Is there any other option besides surrendering? If it was Hydra or SHIELD, even if Ophelia encountered such a situation, she would be confident that she could fight and seek a chance to come back. Only in SHIELD can she feel such despair. It is precisely because I have been a Hydra lady. I know the depth of Hydra and SHIELD, and I know that SHIELD and Hydra are the strongest. But the Foundation is different. Even now, Ophelia knows that the strength shown by the Foundation is just the tip of the iceberg. Even if it was only the tip of the iceberg, she felt that terrifying sense of despair. After seeing Ophelia surrender, Miss 2B put the two swords away with a bored expression, and then the two swords floated behind her. Seeing this scene, Ophelia's face became even more bitter. Regarding Ophelia's surrender, Chen Feng did not choose to execute these people on the spot for that little system reward. First of all, he felt that the other party still had a lot of value to tap. The second is that the system seems to have sent a new reminder. Trigger a new side mission, the chaos splitter organization that dominates this world. Question mark. Chen Feng looked at these disgruntled prisoners of war with great interest, except for the leader who was suspected to be the commander of the chaos separatist. It seemed that the other prisoners of war had expressions of unwillingness, but they still chose to surrender in the face of overwhelming combat power and orders. He looked at Ophelia, the leader, and asked, Commander of the Chaos Separatists, since you have surrendered, please report your name. Ophelia had no choice but to bow her head in humiliation, and replied, Ophelia Sarkisian. Hearing this name, Chen Feng repeated in confusion, Ophelia, seeing Chen Feng like this, Ophelia only pretended not to understand him on purpose, took a deep breath, and said coldly, the name Ophelia may not be clear to you, but Viper, Hydra do you understand the two titles of Madam? After hearing these two names, Chen Feng seemed to recall some of the plot characters in American comics in his previous life, and then he suddenly looked, Mrs. Hydra, shouldn't you be leading Hydra? How did you become a chaos splitter, Commander? The Grand Duchess took a few deep breaths, and her chest heaved violently before she calmed down. She gritted her teeth and said, it's been a long time ago. Commander Chen Feng isn't planning to interrogate me here, is he? It's really impolite. If this is the case, then please invite the famous Mrs. Hydra to return to the Foundation's base as a guest. While Chen Feng was speaking, three V-44X Blackfish transport helicopters had slowly landed on the ground. The task force began to board the plane with the dejected chaos insurgency prisoners of war. Madame Ophelia walked into the cabin with Chen Feng with a face full of unwillingness. Chapter 43 Necessary Evil Chen Feng's Plan Originally, Chen Feng's plan was to draw out the hidden power of the chaos splitter, and then capture its influential figures. After obtaining enough information, destroy the chaos splitter to obtain huge amounts of system rewards. However, with Ophelia's decisive surrender and her various actions, Chen Feng found that he seemed to have made some misjudgments. Chen Feng understands very well how much power he has in his hands, and he also understands that the foundations in this world are just pulling the banner of a tiger. Chen Feng feels that the so-called foundation power he possesses is relatively weak. If he really fights with those big forces, even with SHIELD and Hydra, he may not be able to move now. After all, SHIELD now seems to have almost no extraordinary heroes. At this stage, it seems that anyone can pinch SHIELD. But Chen Feng, who is familiar with the plot, knows that SHIELD has a strong appeal. Once Tony stands up, he will soon be able to summon the first batch of Avengers with extraordinary combat power. Chen Feng thought that the current foundation is far worse than the peak SHIELD. However, Chen Feng forgot that he has been comparing the current foundation with the peak combat power of those organizations in his mind. In fact, in the eyes of others, the current foundation is undoubtedly a mysterious and powerful organization with great strength. Facing the chaos insurgents of this world, this effect goes to the next level. Because the chaos splitters and the global strategic security bureau of this world seem to know that the foundation itself is not in this world, and they undoubtedly regard the real foundation as an extremely powerful and terrifying organization. After all, it is a powerful organization that can contain even the existence of the highest divine power, and it is a superpower that silently guards the multi-universe. So Chen Feng has always liked to do things with his own strength. 
But he didn't know that his name was too bluffing, so when facing the chaos splitters in the American comics world, this effect was outstanding. Ophelia was not even handcuffed, but her weapon was confiscated. At the moment, she was sitting opposite Chen Feng, with a complicated expression on her face. Miss 2B stood quietly beside Chen Feng, even though Ophelia is Mrs. Hydra, the famous Hydra agent Viper. She has extremely extraordinary personal skills, comparable to the widow sister, and is also good at using various toxins. If the person sitting opposite her is Nick Fury, the director of SHIELD, even if she is a prisoner, she would dare to try to hold her hostage and make a last-ditch effort. However, she didn't have the courage to try when she faced Miss 2B who defeated the Chaos Insurgency biochemical unit head-on by herself. At the moment is already a man for a sword, and a for a fish, and she has already heard about the legendary powerful Foundation. Now, Ophelia has lost everything, but the speculation about the Foundation's strength has been bothering her. If the Foundation controlled by Chen Feng is really the same as Ophelia's conjecture, so... Could this suddenly appearing foundation power be dot 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 the foundation from the real containment universe? For Ophelia, who obtained chaos splitter technology and some foundation technology, and obtained immortality by analyzing the containment, it has become her lifelong pursuit to search for a powerful containment, to search for that incomparably powerful supreme power. The world's chaos insurgents and the global strategic security agency have grown into today's behemoths only after obtaining the technological relics of that task force 60 years ago. But for 60 years, they have been searching hard for the shelter, but found nothing. Ophelia had always hoped that there would be a new containment that could break through the limitations of the law of the universe, and came here, so that she could gain the power of the containment through the chaos splitters under her control. After all, the longevity she obtained is not free, otherwise why would she seek the power of contained objects? It was this desire for strength and longevity that made Chen Feng trigger the side mission of the system, the chaos splitter who ruled the world. Finally at the moment. Ophelia couldn't hold back her troubles and asked that question. Are you, are you from this world? Commander Chen Feng. Hearing this sentence, Chen Feng gave Ophelia a meaningful look, and immediately began to do what he was best at. Mrs. Ophelia, don't you think I'm not from this world? In just one sentence, Ophelia's delicate body trembled, and the ambition and longing in her beautiful eyes were revealed irresistibly. You are indeed not from this world. It seems that our loss is not wronged. It seems that Mrs. Ophelia has a deep prejudice against us. Maybe the lady has been misled by a lot of wrong information. In fact, we are not enemies? Hearing this, Ophelia's mature and charming face showed a hint of confusion. Your Excellency Chen Feng, what does this mean? Aren't Chaos Splitters and the Foundation enemies? Sitting opposite Ophelia, Chen Feng at the moment dragged his chin with both hands, just like Commander Raikari's expression in Eva, looked at her with interest, and then said something that broke Ophelia's three views. I don't think so. You must know that the founder of the Chaos Splitter was instructed by the Supreme Council. You don't think that a branch of the Foundation has such an ability to build a powerful extraordinary team out of thin air? Organize it? Ophelia was as if struck by lightning. Her beautiful eyes were so frightened that her pupils trembled, and she murmured, Impossible, haven't the Chaos Splitters been fighting against the Foundation all this time? T.S.K., Mrs. Ophelia, the Chaos Splitter you first came into contact with was just a junior officer right? What can a mere junior officer know? Don't you naively think that dot 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 a branch of the foundation can leave the foundation as a whole so easily, and with so much foundation assets, you can defect and withdraw safely, right? Chen Feng walked in front of her, and said in a low voice like a devil whispering, as the leader of the organization, Mrs. Ophelia, shouldn't she be so naive? For the Supreme Council dot 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 whether it is the foundation or the chaos splitter, they are nothing more than the best tools in the hands of the Supreme Council. You guys are a necessary evil. Chapter 44 Necessary Evil It turns out that this is the Foundation's big move. Aphelia's mentality collapsed. For the past 60 years, she has been adhering to the teachings of her dead mentor, believing that the chaos insurgency and the Foundation are two opposing forces. Therefore, she has always regarded the National Strategic Security Bureau as the enemy. But today, when Aphelia heard these secrets told by Chen Feng, she fell into serious self-doubt. Is the teacher's teaching wrong? Is the truth of the world really like this? If I were the Supreme Council of the Foundation, would I create chaos insurgents? Ophelia has long ceased to be the frontline agent Viper. She used to be Mrs. Hydra, and now she is the Grand Duchess of C. Della. Ophelia, who has been in a high position and has been in the world for a long time, is no longer the innocent little girl she used to be. She feels that the world is either black or white. After she switched her perspective, she found desperately that if she was in the position of the Supreme Council, she might really be able to create such an organization. The reason is simple, because there is a sunny side to the world, there will naturally be a dark side. No matter which country or force, as long as the scale is large enough, it will inevitably have people who specialize in dirty work. These dirty jobs are bound to be cast aside and shady. Thinking of it this way, the chaos insurgents are the part of the foundation that does the dirty work anyway. Aphelia's face became uncertain. In the cabin, apart from Chen Feng and Miss 2B, there are only four people, 
Ophelia and her adjutant Leah, looking at this situation, Ophelia's uneasy suspicion has become more and more certain, and it has become a certain major case at this moment. If the Chaos Insurgents weren't the part of the Foundation that handles black jobs, why did they bring themselves and their lieutenants to this separate cabin? Not even if she is one of the high-ranking commanders of the Chaos Insurgency, because there are no other guards or soldiers of the Foundation, it means that this matter is confidential, and Chen Feng doesn't even want the low-ranking officers to know about this matter. According to Ophelia's experience of working in Hydra before, and even becoming the core high-level Mrs. Hydra, she knows that the larger the organization, the more important it is to keep secrets secret. Like Chaos Splitters, the Foundation splits up to do black work. Naturally, the fewer people know about it, the better. Don't you see that those people who do dirty work in Fobol and a certain CIA department will eventually be assigned a new identity to start a new life? Dirty work and black work must be shady, and because of this, the Chaos Insurgency is a necessary evil. After thinking through all the links, Ophelia frowned and clenched her lower lip, as if she was engaged in a violent psychological struggle. Chen Feng just stood quietly in front of her, waiting for her reply. Leah, the little lieutenant next to her, was already dumbfounded. What? Who I am? Where am I? Why have you always been hostile to the forces that beat life and death? Who knew it was actually a family? Is this actually a big game the Foundation is playing? Oops. My little lieutenant knows so many things that I shouldn't know. Thinking of the organization's usual way of doing things. The expression on Leah's face was extremely terrified, as if she was about to cry at any time. Ophelia is tangled for a moment, as in the fact that the Chaos Insurgency and in the world of American comics isn't really a Chaos Insurgency group, more like a successor who has inherited the name. Even the Chaos Separatists of American comics fought the Foundation. After so much, will the Foundation really accept itself? Did he want to annex the Chaos Splitters, or thinking of that answer. Ophelia's heart became extremely chaotic. Ophelia stared at Chen Feng with emerald eyes and said, Then, does your excellency Chen Feng want the chaos splitters to belong to the foundation again? Chen Feng smiled, and in Ophelia's eyes, this smile was like a devil. Definitely re-establish contact with the foundation, and then you will continue to lead the chaos insurgency and complete the mission of the foundation. The foundation does not need the chaos insurgency to return to the establishment, because you are a necessary evil. Ophelia let out a pale and miserable laugh. Oh dot 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 necessary evil, but I also want to be bright, to walk under the sun. After getting an affirmative answer, Ophelia pursed her lower lip, clenched her white hands firmly into fists, and fell into a fierce inner conflict. If the connection with the Foundation is re-established, will the chaos insurgents be hidden in the darkness forever, unable to see the light? Ophelia was at a loss. What she had always expected was to establish a new order designated by the chaos splitters, not the night watchman who lived in darkness forever. However, in the face of the overwhelming strength of the Foundation and the temptation to advance to a wider world. Once I agree to the Foundation, maybe all the problems will be solved, maybe. I can also grow and produce real metamorphoses. After a long time, she finally made a decision, and looked at the man in front of her with resentment. She is called Mrs. Hydra, the Grand Duchess of Cedella. She is feared like a devil by the world, but in her opinion, the man in front of her dot 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 is the truly terrifying devil. She let out a long sigh, full of mourning. The Chaos Separatists will return to the leadership of the Foundation, Your Excellency the Supreme Commander. Chapter 45 Old Things Anomaly 008 and Umbrella Very wise choice of Mrs. Ophelia. Don't look at me with such sad eyes, you have to trust the Foundation, we will not treat the hero badly, you will gain far more than what you lost. Chen Feng's smile instantly became kind and friendly, unlike the oppressive expression before. Then Chen Feng snapped his fingers, and Miss 2B came over knowingly with a champagne and a goblet. This historic moment should be celebrated. Mrs. Ophelia, and may our friendship last forever. Ophelia took the wine glass with a blank expression, no matter what, this result cannot be changed. But it is too difficult for you to ask her to greet you with a smile immediately, and to accept the fact that you will probably live in the dark world forever. However, Chen Feng did not force this handsome and glamorous Grand Duchess to show herself a friendly smile. After all, she is already one of her own, and everyone knows it well, so there is no need to get entangled in the details. Reluctantly. The Grand Duchess raised a goblet full of champagne and lightly clinked glasses with Chen Feng, who was blushing. If you don't know it, you may think that this is a rich woman who is so beautiful that she is coerced by the rich and powerful to marry her with her assets. If it were described in this way, then the dowry she carried was indeed extremely rich. Ophelia drank the champagne in one gulp, her cheeks were blushing, she seemed to calm down instantly, and asked softly, So what is the commander's plan for the chaos splitters? Chen Feng already had a plan in mind after hearing it and made very detailed arrangements. First of all, Mrs. Ophelia and your adjutant lady will go to the Foundation's base to stay for a while. Your captured subordinates will be imprisoned at the nearby Foundation base. During this period, 
the Foundation will give you a certain amount of technical support, Mrs. Ophelia, and will plan and designate the future course of action of the Chaos Splitters. After everything is over, you will be arranged to return to the base where the Chaos Insurgency prisoners of war are held, and then you will have a proper time to escape. Madame, definitely you also just happened to steal some of the Foundation's secrets and technology when you broke out. After all, the Chaos Splitters in this world are still too weak to be a vassal force of the Foundation. After hearing Chen Feng's words, Mrs. Ophelia and Adjutant Leo were silent. It turns out that the organization we are proud of is not even qualified as a vassal force in the eyes of the other party. The faces of the two were extremely complicated and bitter. Facing the extremely resentful expressions of the two beauties, Chen Feng didn't care at all but continued talking freely. Miss Ophelia, I think you are still young because of the contents. Sure enough, this matter was still asked, and Ophelia had already guessed that Chen Feng would definitely ask this question, so she nodded very naturally. That's right, I became a long-lived species because the organization conducted related research on the relevant containment objects. If my guess is correct, that containment is probably containment 008. After hearing Chen Feng's words, Ophelia gave an affirmative hum, as if recalling her past experience and slowly started talking about it. That's actually not the original 008, but a mutated 008. It originated from an experiment between containment 008 zombie virus and containment 5 million elixir. 008 strain produced a strange mutation and caused a disaster, and then a foundation task force encountered a strange phenomenon during containment, and traveled to this world with that special 008 strain. For some reason, the special 008 strain appeared in a certain village in the territory of the Second Prussian Empire. At that time, because there was an outbreak of flu at the time, maybe some weird combination formed a weird mold. The Chaos Separatist Organization obtained this peculiar Ro 8 strain and established a biopharmaceutical company called Umbrella to study it. Then we developed a brand new biological virus through the special 8 strain individual, and through it, I and some people from that year gained longevity. After hearing Ophelia's narration, Chen Feng's heart felt like shit. Could you name this virus T-Virus? Hearing this, Ophelia's eyes widened, Master Commander. How did you know this secret? Then she made a definite self-deprecating smile. Yes, how could you not know? Chen Feng's heart twitched for a while. He didn't expect his casual complaint to come true. Could this be the end of the world line? Because the system gave the umbrella something before, so the chaos splitters in this world established an umbrella company, and it happened that a mutated strain of 008 led to the birth of the T-Virus. Chen Feng remembered the characteristics of containment 008 zombie virus, which can only be transmitted through mucous membranes and body fluids and has a 100% lethality rate. The Containment 500 Panacea is a panacea that can cure all diseases, even Containment 008 can also be cured. By accident, the T-virus in this world was born. Did Ophelia even gain immortality because of this virus? With your technical strength, it's impossible for such a long life to be free, right? But it doesn't matter, the Foundation can help you solve this problem. Hearing this, Ophelia smiled like a flower, I'm looking forward to it very much, Commander. This is a very reasonable request. After all, such a leader can better serve our great cause. Complete the achievement and get the first vassal force. Question mark. Complete the important branch line and subdue the chaos separatist organization. Question mark. System reward settlement in progress. Chapter 46 S level rewards. Kriak Kaizen, Snow Wind Queen and Mind Commander. Hearing the system prompt, Chen Feng heaved a sigh of relief, and a stone fell from his heart. Containment has finally been completed, and things have finally come to a successful conclusion. Congratulations Commander. You have successfully contained 096 the shy person. According to your performance, this containment evaluation is S-class perfect containment. Question mark. During the containment of abnormality 096, SHIE, LD and Hydra paid great attention to the contained objects, and gained two what's rumors. Question mark. The first time you dominated an affiliated faction, you gained three what's points of rumors. Question mark. You contained anomaly 096 with an S-level perfect evaluation. And according to your action performance, you have gained 50,000 rumor points, question mark. You have obtained a total of 100,000 rumor points, question mark. The loot is being settled, the containment is completed with an S-level completion, and the quality of the loot has increased, dot. Obtain special loot, S-level legendary professional card psychic commander training manual, question mark. After using the psychic commander training manual, you will get related strengthening of psychic commander, system evaluation. Only those with the ability to be a psychic can be trained to be a psychic commander. Out of a million people, perhaps one psychic can be born. However, 10,000 psychers may not be able to train a qualified commander. Get test level special loot, legendary fighter, FFR 41 electronic fighter fairy yukikis, question mark. 
It is a super fighter from the battle on the planet Fial. The body is equipped with an artificial intelligence life and is escorted by three FRX-99 Light Knight drones. System Evaluation the value of the FFR-41 electronic fighter UKKs is immeasurable. It's equipped with AI has become an artificial intelligence life, and its fighter performance can be called the strongest in the atmosphere. Obtain the S-level rare trophy, the military post of the Krieger Legion. Question mark. The S-level rare battle item, the Krieger Legion S whistle, has a cooling time of one month after each sound. After using it, you can get a Krieger Legion support from the Warhammer 40,000 world. The number of Krieger units summoned each time will be fixed at 10,000. System Evaluation this is a rare containment item from the world of Warhammer 40,000. Every time you use it, you can get 10,000 Emperor's strongest coins. When this military post is in use, it will continuously accumulate energy and produce qualitative changes. Its ability will evolve again. After seeing these three legendary items, Chen Feng had only one thought, which was to develop as expected of an S-level legendary reward. No matter which one of these three rewards is taken out, it is a powerful existence with extremely high growth potential. These three rewards cover the qualitative improvement of personal force, combat vehicles, and legion combat power. No matter which one of these three is taken out alone, it is an extremely powerful and useful reward for the Foundation at this stage. But in the current situation, Chen Feng couldn't express his joy too much. Ophelia and the others saw Chen Feng smiling so brightly, and thought that he was simply happy to regain the power of the Chaos Separatists. Now Chen Feng has not had time to study his own rewards. The first thing he needs to do now is to settle Ophelia. Since Chen Feng did not choose to annex the Chaos Insurgents directly, except that Ophelia and her lieutenants will implement the Foundation's requirements, the Chaos Insurgents and the Foundation still have a hostile relationship on the surface. Even Chen Feng needs to maintain this kind of hostility. Only with hostility on the surface can Chaos Splitters help Chen Feng do some dirty work. For example, the American comics version of the T-Virus that the Chaos Insurgency is currently working on. For biochemical viruses such as the T-Virus, and many things in the later stages of the technology tree of the T-Virus, the current foundation is actually not suitable for use. For example, the powerful BOW biological weapon Tyrant, this humanoid biological weapon has extremely powerful combat effectiveness, and once it is mass-produced, the price of producing a Tyrant will not be much higher than that of a car. But this kind of weapon is not visible, if the foundation uses many weapons of the T-Virus line, then the image of the foundation will be lost. In any case, weapons like the T-Virus, let alone lethality, just because the biological weapons produced are ugly. Once those reporters who often write small essays see it, their image on the bright side will be ruined. However, the study of this kind of biotechnology is closely related to the root of genetic modification, and it cannot be given up at all. Moreover, it would be a pity to give up the technology of the world of resident evil, so what should be used should be used. It is precisely for these reasons that Chen Feng chose to establish this secret vassal relationship with the Chaos Splitters. It just so happens that the Chaos Splitters in this world have also embarked on the technological route of biotechnology because of the abnormal containment of 008 zombie virus. Ophelia and others also lived much longer than ordinary people for this reason. However, Chen Feng heard that Ophelia had to inject specific inhibitors at regular intervals for this reason, otherwise she would definitely be unable to suppress it, and uncontrollable mutations would likely occur. At this stage, this thing is still too uncontrollable. To this end, Chen Feng must first solve Ophelia's hidden dangers. Isn't this a coincidence? Dr. Wilhelm of the Foundation's Paradise Island base is an expert in the study of T-viruses. Chapter 47 Mrs. Hydra, a Foundation dog? How many people would like to think that they never had this opportunity? The V-44X Blackfish transport plane landed at the airfield at the Foundation's Paradise Island base. As soon as he landed, a major officer from the logistics department of the base appeared in front of Chen Feng with a checklist. Sir. The Foundation headquarters have brought in support again, including four new fighter planes, and two top secret black boxes. Chen Feng took the list and thanked casually, I have received it, thank you for your report. It is a pleasure to serve you sir. The Major saluted and left with reverence on his face. Ophelia looked at the four fighter planes parked beside the airport, and couldn't help admiring, these are the new fighter planes of the Foundation. They dot 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 are so beautiful, a black and white painted, extremely streamlined. Forward swept fighter jet is parked in the center of the airport like a proud queen. Next to her are three red and white painted airframes. None of the three airframes have a cockpit, and the cockpit is replaced by a supercomputer, and each of the three fighter jets has a nuclear icon printed on the cockpit. Red nuclear warhead. Chen Feng then admired the queen of the sky parked in the airport, nodded and agreed. Well, that's my landline, it was delivered just now. Hearing this, Ophelia was afraid for a while, it seems that the foundation is still holding back. These four planes alone are enough to easily destroy the Chaos Insurgency base. The shock given to her by the three Light Knight drones was extremely powerful, and the row of unloaded weapons and equipment on the ground alone was enough to scare people. 
leaving aside the bunch of unseen missiles of various models, just the electromagnetic cannon that every aircraft has makes people creepy. This technology is at least a hundred years ahead of the current era. Moreover, the cabin of each drone is actually composed of a supercomputer and a tactical nuclear weapon, and it can undoubtedly be used as a nuclear weapon when necessary. What kind of monster is this going to fight? Thinking of this, cold sweat dripped down Ophelia's forehead. Her adjutant Leah, this little girl was even more frightened. The background brought by these four fighter planes alone made people tremble with fear. What's more, according to the report of the adjutant just now, there are two super secret black boxes that were transported together with these four fighters. God knows what kind of terrifying thing that is. Seeing this scene, Ophelia felt lucky after she broke out in a cold sweat. Fortunately, she was aware of current affairs. Otherwise, if the Foundation strikes hard, among other things, at least the North American branch of the Chaos Separatist led by him will definitely be gone. What happened to the Foundation? As far as the background of the Foundation is concerned, it's no shame to vote. What happened to being a Foundation dog? How many people want to be the dog of the Foundation but don't have this chance? Besides, the predecessors of our Chaos Separatists back then were all people with the banner of the Supreme Council. Isn't this background much more noble than those cats and dogs who came here halfway? Chen Feng didn't know that Ophelia started to comfort RQ because of Queen Xwing and her three light knights. But yes, as Mrs. Hydra, Grand Duchess of C. Della, Ophelia is undoubtedly well informed. She has seen a lot of weapons and equipment, and she is an agent, so she knows the goods. According to a certain retired old man, the more beautiful the plane and ship, the more powerful the combat power will be. Look at the shape of Xfing, that streamlined, and the layout of the forward swept wings. That look, even the F A181 5th generation all weather fighter used by the Foundation before, looked like an ugly duckling in front of her. What? You said that the forward swept wing federation and the major powers have all been eliminated? And there is not even a stealth coating, so the combat effectiveness is not good? This is the Foundation's new fighter jet. The Foundation's technology is the best in the world. Don't you understand? Maybe this plane is used to fight aliens. All in all, laymen watch the excitement, and insiders watch the way. But one thing both insiders and laymen understand is that the higher the appearance of a weapon, the stronger is combat effectiveness. If these four cutting-edge fighters were just animations and pictures, it is estimated that people would not be so shocked, and would only have fun. But when they really appear in front of you, you can feel the shock brought by the extremely powerful technology and industrial aesthetics. Because Ophelia is so knowledgeable, when she saw Gzfing for the first time, she knew that the Foundation's technological strength was far ahead of the Chaos Splitters. Facing such a huge monster, Ophelia was very thankful that the opponent was no longer an enemy, but a master. After all, under such a strong ruling power, it is not shameful to be the dog of the Foundation. Still the same sentence, how many people want to pretend that they don't have this opportunity? Chen Feng had no idea that the charming lady behind him was already thinking like a snake about how to ensure that she could obtain the favored status of her master. Chen Feng walked to the side of the Xfeng Queen's body, staring at the cabin, he couldn't wait to sit in the pilot's seat and try the power of the strongest fighter in the atmosphere. After all, how can a supercar have the feeling of a super fighter? But it's a pity that he still has to take Ophelia to the Ministry of Science and Technology, and ask Wilhelm to help her solve the hidden danger of the T-virus. Chen Feng touched the 001 code on the fuselage affectionately, and praised, Ah! I really want to try it, FFR-41 Mr. The Battle Fairy Snow Wind Queen, the strongest fighter on Blue Star. The lights on the cabin flickered faintly. Then Chen Feng turned his head to look at Ophelia and said, Let's go, Mrs. Ophelia. It's time to solve the hidden dangers caused by the T-Virus in your body. Chapter 48 Research Progress of T-Virus, Amazon's Python Foundation Base Technology Laboratory Since the last assignment to Dr. Wilhelm, Chen Feng was busy researching how to contain anomalies, so he didn't have time to come. Came here again and found that the laboratory is still the same. Various Foundation researchers in white coats came and went. Chen Feng found Dr. Wilhelm under the guidance of an assistant. Dr. Wilhelm of at the moment is like any tech geek, with a bearded face a messy tie, and the coffee in his hand keeps pouring into his mouth. Dr. Wilhelm, how is the project going? Hearing Chen Feng's voice, Dr. Wilhelm shivered, choked on the coffee in his hand, and coughed a few times. Although he looks unkempt and has a bad image at the moment, his mental state is very good. R, boss, are you here? There is good news. The tasks you told me were all done well. We have reconfigured the T-virus with practical value based on the data. The research and development of the biological weapon T-103 Tyrant has also initially completed five samples. I personally think that the potential of the T-virus has been exhausted under the current circumstances. It is better to devote energy to the research and development of the more valuable G-virus. Then various theories and nouns began to pop out of his mouth. Chen Feng silently read a project progress report handed over by Wilhelm. Leah, the adjutant who came to accompany the visit, heard Dr. Wilhelm's words at this moment. Although she didn't understand the professional parts, he said, 
She was shocked, since Ophelia is a master of poison and also participated in the research of T-Virus. After hearing Dr. Wilhelm's words, she couldn't help but refute. Although I don't know what the T-Virus is like here, but you said that the potential of the T-Virus has come to an end. T-Virus is currently the most suitable virus for human strengthening experiments, and it is already the virus with the most controllable variability. After hearing Ophelia's words, Wilhelm curled his lips in disdain, glanced at the woman, and regarded her as a researcher from another branch of the Foundation. To other scientific researchers, Wilhelm would not be so good-tempered at all, unless he thinks that he can surpass himself academically, and he is very confident in this. Although the mutation of the T-virus is relatively controllable, the problem is that it has a high demand on the physical fitness of the host. Unless it is specifically adjusted according to the system, it will be extremely uncontrollable. So far, our experiments have not found a host that can perfectly symbiotically evolve with the T-virus. Even a relatively stable symbiotic host will run amok due to injury and other reasons and lose its human form unless there are new inhibitor materials or a perfect evolution. Otherwise, what's the point of studying this stuff? Wilhelm refuted Ophelia unceremoniously, and Wilhelm seemed to see through that she was a strengthener who used the T-virus to strengthen her body, and laughed unceremoniously. Wow, I also said why you are in a hurry. It turns out that you used a customized T-virus host, no wonder you are in such a hurry. When Ophelia, who was a little annoyed by Dr. Wilhelm's ridicule, didn't know how to refute for a while, Chen Feng stopped the quarrel between the two. Okay Wilhelm. I want you to solve her hidden dangers, this lady, you can be the leader of other branches, don't be rude. Hearing this, Wilhelm restrained his arrogant attitude, thought for a moment and said, the hidden dangers about her are also the problems encountered by the T-virus at present. The two problems I mentioned, the new suppression material and the possible perfect host, if one of the two can be found, the hidden dangers can be solved. But it is obvious that these two things do not exist now. If there is, I can even develop a perfect T-gene modifier through the T-virus. After hearing Dr. Wilhelm's words, Chen Feng fell into deep thought. Regarding the T-virus, Chen Feng not only watched movies but also played games in his previous life. In Resident Evil, the only evolutionary who can perfectly coexist with the T-virus is Alice, the heroine of the movie. As for new inhibitor materials, where can one start? Chen Feng at the moment felt the shackles of lack of intelligence. The foundation seemed to be all combat departments, and there were not many reliable personnel for intelligence collection. If there is a chance this time, Chen Feng must establish an effective intelligence department. Otherwise, it's okay to be blind to the outside world. Ophelia of at the moment already has a new understanding of the foundation's scientific research ability. After Chen Feng finished reading the project report just now, he showed the report to Ophelia. She found that the foundation not only has T-virus, but even the research on T-virus is much more perfect than chaos splitters. However, the composition of the foundation's T-virus seems to be somewhat different from that of the chaos splitters, but the effect is roughly the same. Thinking of the key points, a flash of inspiration suddenly appeared in her mind. Commander, our intelligence department has discovered the inhibitor material. Hearing this, Wilhelm's eyes suddenly lit up and he asked impatiently, Explain? Chen Feng also looked at her curiously. The value collected by this wave of vassal forces can help the Foundation so soon. After recalling the memories in her mind for a moment, Ophelia recounted the relevant information. Just a month ago, one of our teams discovered a horrific snake infestation in a village somewhere in the Amazon forest. After investigation, the investigation team found a giant python, and after paying a certain price, we captured a giant python. The size of this giant python is even comparable to the prehistoric creature Titan Python and our researchers found that its blood has a very strong stabilizing effect on the T-virus. Listening to Ophelia's words, Chen Feng seemed to recall something in his mind. I seem to have heard similar things. Did this giant python take some kind of special plant to produce such a mutation? Hearing this, Ophelia is no longer surprised. The Foundation also discovered the information about the legendary plant. Chapter 49 The Immortal Medicine Blood Orchid Huge amounts of pythons and incredible magic potions. Thinking of this, Chen Feng couldn't help but think of a movie The Calamity of the Python that he had watched in his previous life. So Chen Feng asked Ophelia, is the magical medicine you mentioned a plant called Blood Orchid that the locals call? That's right, that's what the locals seem to call it. Not only did we get a dead python, but we also found a Blood Orchid sample in its gastric juice. This miraculous plant has great medicinal value. It can increase the number of divisions of human mitochondria and rejuvenate old cells. After hearing Ophelia's affirmative answer, even Chen Feng's heart became hot. Blood Orchid, it really is this thing. Chen Feng said with emotion, theoretically, the magic medicine that can make people live forever is indeed very valuable. Ophelia nodded and said in agreement. According to the analysis of the remaining samples, it may actually prolong the human life span by more than a thousand years. Although it is not as amazing as the rumors, its value is enough to drive the world crazy. We still need to get real samples to know more about it. Being immortal is what almost every human being desires. If it is just longevity, it is a kind of torture. 
but immortality is almost an irresistible temptation for everyone, especially the rich and powerful. Even Chen Feng, knowing that there is such a magic medicine that can make people live forever, wants to get it, although he can also achieve this goal through containment and the system. But after all, it is a random look, and now there are things that can guarantee at least a thousand years of life if you pick them up for nothing, so you must. What's more, this thing can also stabilize the T-virus and improve the T-virus into a benign strengthening agent. In this case, maybe the Foundation can produce genetic warriors like the biochemical movie Heroin. In addition, there are excellent researchers like Wilhelm here, maybe the G-virus he studies can also achieve a breakthrough. After all, the G-virus studied by Dr. Wilhelm has too many uncontrollable evolutionary factors, so it is not a truly qualified biochemical virus. Chen Feng looked at Wilhelm and asked seriously, Dr. Wilhelm, if you get blood orchids, are you sure you can create a more stable and effective T-virus or even G-virus strengthening agent? Hearing the inquiry from his own boss, Dr. Wilhelm made a guarantee, if its efficacy is really that miraculous, I promise it will. After thinking about the huge value of the blood orchid, Chen Feng said decisively to Ophelia, I want specific information. After getting the blood orchid, the Foundation can share the scientific and technological achievements with you. After hearing Chen Feng's request, Ophelia agreed without thinking. No problem. Commander, I will have someone sort out the information and hand it over to you immediately. In this case, I think Mrs. Ophelia can stay in the Foundation base for a while longer. After all, Madame, you don't want to use less than perfect technology to solve your hidden dangers, do you? Ophelia readily agreed, it's natural. As for whether the blood orchid could be obtained, neither Chen Feng nor Ophelia had the slightest doubt about it. Chen Feng has seen the movie and knows the plot, so it doesn't matter. As for Ophelia, she thinks that with such a powerful force from the Foundation, What's the difficulty in getting a few small blood orchids? Both Chen Feng and Ophelia completely turned a blind eye to the giant python guarding the blood orchid. In the eyes of Chen Feng, who has watched the movie, the protagonists in the movie, who are the ones who went to find the blood orchid, just a few scientists and a team of mercenaries went up there. Does this compare to the Foundation? Not to mention the Foundation, even forces like Chaos Splitters, S-H-I-E-L-D, or Hydra can easily find this thing. Even if the Foundation randomly sends a group of soldiers there, let alone killing those giant pythons, it's not a problem if they are all captured alive without killing any of them. Once the heat sensor is turned on, even in the subtropical virgin forest, Shendu can clearly see all kinds of ghosts and snakes. If you want to wipe it all out, the AH-99 attack helicopter used to hit it directly with machine guns, rockets plowed the ground, what python? It would be strange if they all had to become roasted pythons. Definitely, SHIELD and Hydra have the ability to look for but unfortunately they can't find such benefits. Why didn't SHIELD and Hydra look for it? It's purely because such information is kept strictly confidential. Only controlled immortality has value. If everyone is immortal, the value of this thing will be reduced too much. If it weren't for the fact that the Chaos Separatists had defected to the Foundation, Ophelia would never have handed over such precious information just like this. On the other hand, Ophelia believes that the Foundation's scientific research ability is far more powerful than the Chaos Splitters, because the Foundation was able to research the T-Virus without the abnormal containment of 008 zombie virus mutant strain, and the effect of the developed virus is almost the same as the T-Virus from the Chaos Splitters. This scientific research ability is very scary, and when the Chaos Separatists were still spending a lot of money to create mere individuals like hunters, the thing researched by the Foundation turned out to be a tyrant. Although Ophelia hasn't seen the real thing yet, just seeing the report proposal is enough to shock her for a whole year. As if to test her idea, Ophelia said with anticipation, Master Commander, can I visit the bow you are researching? For example, Tyrant Chen Feng, who had obtained the information on the blood orchid, readily agreed, and told Wilhelm at the side, for small matters, Dr. Wilhelm will arrange it. No problem boss, the head of the branch, our scientific research department is happy to show you the technical achievements. Chapter 50 The Support Plan for Mrs. Ophelia In the biological test field of the laboratory, Chen Feng, his security officer to be, Dr. Wilhelm, and Mrs. Ophelia and her adjutant Leah at the moment are all standing in the observation room of the tall building. Through the protective glass, you can clearly see the boat tyrant who is undergoing actual combat testing below. The height of almost three meters and the strong body, as well as the alienated muscles as hard as steel, and the mutated terrifying claws that can tear apart reinforced concrete. The powerful performance of the T-103 tyrant delighted Lady Ophelia and her lieutenant Leah from the chaos insurgency. But regarding the Foundation, Chen Feng and Miss 2B were expressionless, and Dr. Wilhelm was even more sleepy. The Tyrant is indeed a powerful biological weapon, but it is not a qualified product. The T-103 Tyrant is only a basic mass-produced model. Due to intelligence reasons, the T-103 Tyrant cannot use weapons, and once he is seriously injured, he will become an alienated form, although the right arm becomes a terrifying giant claw, which is more lethal. But after that it can't change back. 
plus its appearance problem. It also looks more human-like than the mutant creatures such as the hunters created by the Chaos Splitters, or the zombies and lickers, which are inferior products of the T-Virus. Although a creature like a tyrant is indeed transformed from a human clone, a little observation shows that he is already an inhuman creature, and if he goes into war, it will cause great panic and injustice. After all, most people have a great aversion to using humans to conduct virus experiments or biological transformation experiments, which is why companies like Umbrellas are notorious in movies and games. In fact, after these forces are really finished, their evil products have not disappeared at all, but new forces will take over. Definitely, although the injustice of biological weapons has some factors, it is not the main reason why Chen Feng gave up using them. The main reason is the intelligence problem, unable to use weapons, and can only execute general commands through the brain chip. Once the chip is damaged, it will go berserk. The current tyrant is simply not suitable for the various containment tasks of the Foundation. Facing the contained objects, the lack of necessary intelligence will only cause the containment to fail. But the Foundation feels that the current tyrant is useless, but Mrs. Ophelia and Miss Leah don't think so. The two file-size beauties who had never seen the world looked at Chen Feng smiling brightly when he handed over the hard drive containing the BOW date 2 of the Foundation T-Virus system. Although the tyrant has many flaws, there is no reason why it is a flagship product of the T-Virus system. The cost is low, less than 100 watts USD, and the most expensive thing is a qualified human clone body. It is a nightmare for infantry to throw it into a narrow terrain. It is a humanoid tank. If it is street fighting or close combat, the tank may not be dismantled, but armored vehicles and infantry fighting vehicles can definitely be dismantled. Furthermore, the anti-strike ability is very strong. The tyrant can even use RPG rocket launchers in his crotch. As long as he is not headshot by rocket heads or heavy anti-material sniper rifles, he will not die. If you are seriously injured, you will be violent and alienated, which is even more dangerous. According to the data, there is no problem for a tyrant to confront seven or eight hunters head-on. If the number is doubled, he may be injured. At least 30 hunters can be exchanged for a tyrant. The cost of 30 hunters starts at 30 million based on the technological level of chaos splitters. Chen Feng said very generously, these are just part of the Foundation's support plan for Mrs. Ophelia, and we will give you more assistance in the future. Hearing this, Mrs. Ophelia smiled brightly, is it just for my personal support? Not for the chaos splitters? Chen Feng said sternly, definitely, I personally hope that madam, you can use these technologies to completely master the chaos insurgents, after all, you are not the supreme commander of the chaos insurgents yet, so this is my personal small investment in you. Madame, Ophelia blinked and smiled brighter, oh, is it just a small investment? If possible, I would like to have dinner with you, commander, later. Can we discuss the details carefully? Looking at Ophelia's eyes full of expectations, the atmosphere has also increased to this point. It seems that there is no way to discuss it, otherwise the project will be bad. After all, this is a win-win situation. It is indeed a win-win situation for Chen Feng to share these technologies with the Chaos Splitters. Use the capital chain and production system of Chaos Splitters to produce these immature products for the Foundation. Ophelia and the others put the technology of these biological weapons into the battlefield, and the Foundation will collect data behind the scenes to improve it and continue to improve new products. After the perfect product is born, the Foundation puts it into use, and the Foundation wins. Besides, now Ophelia has almost completely transformed into the shape of the foundation, to be honest, she also perfectly obeys Chen Feng's instructions. Therefore, there is no difference between the use of the foundation and the use of the chaos separatists, so the chaos separatists also work for the foundation when they take the tyrant, or the foundation wins. This kind of win-win situation means that our supreme commander won twice. As long as the chaos splitters work hard, the foundation will be able to replace it with a new generation of biological super soldiers as soon as possible and contribute to the Foundation's biotechnology. It is a beautiful thing to have such a vassal force. What about eating and socializing? Too much trouble. Chen Feng now only feels that the lights on the ceiling are a bit too dazzling. Hey, it's all for entertainment, it's too difficult. However, what is it for adults to work harder for the success of the project? Thinking of this, Chen Feng couldn't help sighing, he hated socializing the most. But there was nothing he could do, for the success of the project. No problem, it's a very reasonable request. After all, this is a win-win project and the details must be discussed, after visiting all the projects, as the person in charge of the foundation, His Excellency the Supreme Commander, had to discuss the evil plan of how to carve up the forces of the Chaos Separatists and completely puppet them with Mrs. Ophelia, the leader of the Chaos Separatists, and refined its details. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.